Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Um, glad you could join us for what is essentially the uh, the final and epilogue episode of our five year campaign. So we're excited yeah. you guys can come Not join the final us. Episode of the show? No, just no. We we will return. Uh, we're looking probably at the start of the year, the new year, uh, with a new campaign, new characters. But we'll have one shots and stuff in between. Yeah, we'll have fun stuff to kind of break it up and give us some some time to just let off some steam in the meantime. Yeah. But <laughs> before we get into tonight's game, let's go ahead and get through some quick announcements. First off, I uh, wanted to give a shout out if you guys haven't seen it yet. Uh, Shadow War just came out, the sequel to Shadow yes. of Mordor. A <laughs> bunch, so bunch of us have worked on it, and if you haven't seen, uh, we had the opportunity to do a, a cool thing with WB Games, uh, the folks at Monolith, and we did a Shadow of War uh, one shot. One shot that was uploaded as a two parter. It was so much fun. So you guys were so Ridiculous cute, fun. all of you. Oh, it was yeah? the cutest orc adventure that ever happened. <laughs> you watched it? All, both episodes. Aww, it, thanks, bro. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we had uh, Sam, Laura Travis, and the illustrious Darren DePaul uh, as our four orcs and or Olog High trudging their way through Mordor in hopes of victory, spoils, and all that goodness. It's real so. fun to be yeah. stupid. It's real fun to be stupid. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, I recommend checking it out if you haven't yet. Um, merch update, Laura. Oh, wait. Something I can say now. I didn't oh, have the right, green right. light, but I am in that game. I Yay! had to fib and say that I wasn't in that game, but I'm in that game. You lied to me. I'm back as Golem. I am back as Golem. And I run around and I do this and I do this and I do this yeah. and I do this. And you but eat fish. <laughs> and you skin your knees. I stay fish. Which, if you guys haven't seen Liam's Golem in, in the games, it's, it's, it's the uh, most ridiculous. He did the full. You got to also have to point out you did the full mocap for it, mo not just yeah. the VO. Broke my back, yeah. scuttled around like circus. like I was a yeah. young buck, which I'm not. <laughs> it was I great. I still, I wish I still had the video of you that you sent me after you first Years started. Ago. Yeah. Years ago. When you ago. first started playing Gollum, he. Um, Sent me this video of him running around his living room, like jumping up on his couch That's and then like running it. over and like jumping up on your like entertainment yeah, system yeah. or something. I and put like, my <laughs> my laptop on the coffee table. God, it was and amazing. I hit click and I just started going. <laughs> 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 it was so amazing. Guys, I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> my nerd. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for the follow up on that, Liam. Yep. Uh, Laura. Oh well, technically, I have to show this one to. Liam and Tallison as well. Mm. Yeah. What's because up? One. What's up? One. Well, God, I feel like I feel like we've been doing the thing for a while now. Yeah. It's been like yeah. You know, like... when parents have a baby, you don't see them for a while. Oh. They're with that baby just, every hour, every minute. That's, that's what my responsibility been to me. Just, this is a really good thing. Well, what's that? Over what's here? that? What is it? Yeah. What is it? Qualify this because Qualify. it's not in the store yet, you guys. So yeah. don't go to the store and freak out just no. yet. This is it's just, it just came into bit. the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just our viewing copy. Uh, there will be more what details. What does it say on the title there? It says The Chronicles of Exandria, The Tale of Vox Machina. One. Volume one. Volume, volume, volume one? one? Implying that there's going to be more? No, no, no. Yeah. Implying that we'd like to. Just the one. We'd like there to be. Um, and you guys can tune in uh, next week. To Tox Machina, yeah. where we will have Tox more, on Tuesday. more info, more details. Oh. Um, we'll say when they're going to go in the store. Can you give a teaser flip of any pages? I've been told that I cannot give yeah, a teaser flip. Ah. Oh, so the reflective wait. detail on the back. But wait. There's got to be some. What? Tip it, tip it up. But wait, guys, there's more. Wait, that, Talison, no, that's that's if you all. will. Oh, yeah, well, so we, we did two editions because we were really, we wanted to, get, to do something a little ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what is this a special edition? This is a special edition. Oh, God, it's it's, so it's just oh, it's just it's a so little gorgeous. more fancy. It's it's, it's got it just just a it's got the, the ribbon it's and the leather. leather and the gold yeah. foil. And it looks like a tome from like and a, the and world. And it's got an oh, evil yes. tome vibe, and it's Guys, got lots of little wonderful details. Wow! Held that book and looked Ooh. through it. I cried ninety-seven times in one day. It was amazing. <laughs> It is so beautiful. <laughs> you really think just you like would be out of for sixty seconds? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> but nope. never. So yeah. So these. So yeah. Tune into Talks Machina on Tuesday. We'll give you more details about how you can purchase them and all of that stuff. And you can always check out geekandsundry.com slash artbook for more updates. But they're coming soon. They should be in the warehouse very soon. So um, that's happy for the holidays. That beautiful Joe Matarera yes. art. Mm. <laughs>
So yeah, that's, that's pretty there's, exciting. There's, yeah, there's lots to talk about in these books. I'm yeah. very excited. I'm very excited. So oh. A security freakout. Ashley is going to join us. Yes. She's just finishing up. Finishing up. Yeah. Shooting on blind spot. Yeah. Her day job. So she'll pop she'll in when she can. Uh, this is her day job. <laughs> we keep trying to tell her that. Don't we? I know. Right. Alrighty. Uh, wait. 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 The one uh, last thing. Two yes. more editions of the art book. One last thing. <laughs> Golden Jubilee. A hologram. Just for, I, got, I got one last thing just for funsies. Uh, it's kind of a, a really late birthday present. It's kind of just for funsies. But Travis, I have something for you. <laughs> uh, that I've been wanting. Yes, I've been wanting to uh, give you this for a while. Is it, it didn't an come experience? as experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I open it? Yeah, go for it. What, what the fuck is this? Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh, is it the belt of dwarven kind? Oh! 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 Look how big this might be! Oh my god! <laughs> Hug me through my wife! <laughs> That's so great! Don that belt and no one will ever take your junk seriously to. again. <laughs> I can't get hit in the dick with this on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This okay. is amazing! It's gonna look like Santa Claus. Just tuck up and you'll be Oh, wow, it really does! Yes. It really yeah. covers the whole kit and caboodle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and your beard will double in length the moment you put it on. I had to repay you for the okay. raven mask you no. gave me once upon Thank a time. You. Oh, yeah. So our our Thank drunken you, man. Renfair purchases. Drunken Renfair purchases. <laughs> <laughs> drunken Renfair purchases. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's a cool mask. Totally totally that. That's that's that. That. Oh, I thought I would that for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your husband just bought this for me. Of Thanks, Laura. Oh, tight, tight. Well, there you go. That's now, the show, guys. And also <laughs> immune to poison. Good job. Yeah. Um, <laughs> perfect. So, other updates. Uh, we have officially announcing the second issue of Vox Machina Origins, the Critical Role comic. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's going to be available October 18th. Bam. Yay! Yeah, that's uh, so soon. That's six yeah. Yeah. So, look for that on all your great uh, comic book. I'm just going to uh the, the Dark Horse app, um, and all the other places that I can't think of right now. your dick. <laughs> yeah, like that never happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, so super excited. Um, this this one starts starts bringing in some of the other members of Vox Machina who hadn't yet showed up in the first issue. So uh, take a look for it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Oh snap! Let's see. Uh, other quick announcements. Uh, Wednesday Club, Talison, you have coming up. Yeah, uh, we're doing it's 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 October, so we're doing Halloween. Uh, so we're doing uh, Hellboy, which I don't really know much about. So I, I I didn't really I couldn't think of anybody who knew a lot about Hellboy. I know a lot about Hellboy. Do you know a lot about Hellboy? I know a lot, a lot about Hellboy. Are you going to come on Wednesday Club? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> I bought a Hellboy comic today. Today. <laughs> a big, another black compendium book to go with my other big black blades uh, on my shelf. Yeah, we're very excited. We're going to talk. Liam likes things that are big and black. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> reading Lost in Gothic. I'm very excited. Yeah. I'm glad your mind went there, too. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be, we're going to be, on, it's going to be Wednesday Club that's on Hellboy. Joke. Yeah, and then you have stuff. something on Friday as well. I do. I, I, I'm, I'm, I've I'm. decided it would be really funny to be here really late three days in a row for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, and so I'm. Kind of, I don't want, quite want to say taking over. Is taking over the word? That's fair. Okay. I'm taking over uh, Gather Your Party uh, on Friday nights now, and we're kind of giving it a bit of a revamp, and it's going to be a bit of a different vibe. Uh, it's going to be a little shorter. It's going to be fun, and our very first episode is going to be called Gather Your Goth, and we're going to be giving some of our friends goth makeovers and having a goth dance contest. Can I, can I, can I give you Do you want to come? When you are you doing have a goth it? makeover when are you doing tomorrow it? night? Shit, I'm not going to be here. Man. Fuck! I really want to be made over. Well, I'll tell you what. You just you let me know. You can come over and have a okay. makeover. N next Friday, next time you do it, you just do whatever it's called in parentheses. Uh, Laura, your goth, or goth, uh, your Laura. Yeah. Laura, your goth. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, we'll Ga gather Gatsby your Laura. Great Gatsby, Gatsby <laughs> adventure. <laughs> sure. Where Laura is goth. Yeah. Perfect. Or oh, I want to do Gatsby too, though. No, you would, you I want all of You would goth out very well. I think I would be excited by that. All right. And then to finish this up, let's see. I forgot to mention it last week, but for those of you guys, those guys, blah, 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 those of you guys who've been playing the Telltale Batman game, um, the new The Pact episode just came out recently um, with Harlequin and Bane, and I play Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. So, um, it's been it's been a lot of fun, and we've been continuously recording on it. So I hope you guys enjoy. More fun to come with that delightful character. Uh, cold, cold heart. That's true. Um, and then uh, you guys had a Sagas of Sundry announcement, I believe. Oh yeah! What? Sagas of Sundry announcement. <laughs> Cast list went out. Oh shit! Who is in it? We are 
You uh, know, I didn't see you there at all. Mm, look again, Abigail Persimmons. The magic of the goth Speaking makeover strikes God. again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am not you coming tomorrow until I've already had mine. No, I bought this shirt when we went shopping. That's right. That's right. That's right. I bought that shirt when we went shopping. You, you, you did. We went on a shopping we, we, trip we got and yeah. we got, we got so much fun. It was so fucking fun. wild. It's great. It was it's so nuts. Wild. Like yeah. anyone who hasn't seen any of like the again? first season. Thanks for keeping tally. <laughs> what? Oh, it's your eyes. Just come up without drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing now. That's okay, bro. <laughs> like an animatronic uh, yeah, sailor at Pirates of the Caribbean. Like a raccoon that can't find a river, I just go through the motions of washing my food. Um, uh, all right, and uh, let's see, a couple of things. It is still Subtober, because why not? Uh, <laughs> that means if you haven't had an opportunity to, uh, to subscribe to any of the Twitch streams that you're a fan of, you can do so half off until the 18th. So you can go, do that up until the 18th and then get the comic the same day, I guess. Um, and since this is uh, the final episode of the campaign, I wanted to give a shout out to all of our fantastic crew. Uh, one of people who've worked their ass off yeah, to stay here late every Thursday. We have Maxwell James, Danny yeah, Carr, Jason Corey, Woo! Ryan Green, yes. Selena Ruth, Chris Wilmot, yes, Zach Wilson, yes. mm. Sax Carr, mm. Mark Donica, Anthony oh. Tedesco, Andrew. Courtney Kraft, yeah. uh, Ian Kagehara, Chris Lockey, Holly Pearson, Ryan Porter. Denise, J. Andrew Bernard, Ed Lopez, Rachel Romero, Rachel. all of our fantastic mods who have done an incredible job maintaining the chaos that is Twitch. Yeah. You guys are fantastic. We really, really appreciate all the hard work you guys put into it, and many, many more. The entire community we can't even uh, begin did you to say express. Fernando? Yes, I did. Okay. Is he? Jamie. Wait, Fernando. Also known as Arcade. Arcade. Someone did put Fernando on the list. Also Stop, Fernando. I said Arcade. 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 Okay, no. yes. Correct. Yes. This, this yeah. list Arcade's just cool. Okay. I know. Yeah. Thank Why you guys really so much for all your hard work. Um, and with that, Wait, thank you for. Let's come up with some more announcements so no, we never yeah, have to no, start. No, no. I think I think we've stretched the audience's patience enough. Let's go ahead and dive in to tonight's episode. Of course, go roll. Precisely what you mean to. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so last we left off, oh, no. Vox Machina, through their trials and tribulations, had eventually come to realize the machinations of Vecna, who ascended into godhood, transported his city from the Shadowfell of Tharamphala to the top, right above a long dead Earth primordial titan, rising it and making its way towards Vasselheim, the Dawn City, the beginning of creation. You battled your way through its innards, up within the arcane dome that protected it. Managed to defeat one half of the long, frustrating Briarwood coupling. Huh. Fought your way to the top of the tower in Tropis. Did battle with Vecna the Ascended. And through careful planning, sacrifices, you managed to apply the trammels, complete the sealing ritual, and send Vecna 
screaming across the divine gate to be sealed to wherever his divine demi-plane resides on the other side. As you all fell down upon the ruined, floating platforms of the Tower and Tropis, you glanced over as your recent ally, Archon the Cruel, proceeded to sever his own hand, attach the hand of Vecna, and catching you off guard, transport himself beyond your current reach. And this beat of intensity releasing slowly, the adrenaline still wearing its way through your veins. You sit in silence, looking about, amazed that you all still stand after such a confrontation. And it's at that moment you hear this distant <laughs> explosion. Glancing off the side of the platform you're on, you can still see, while the large titan, it's one of four arms raised, attempting to come and destroy all of you with one large blow, frozen in place, there still remains the dregs of Vecna's army down below throughout the city of Vasselheim, where battles are still raging in the streets. You can still see uh, wyvern riders and eagle riders in the sky, though it appears that the gloom stalkers that once paraded across the, the skies over the city have been destroyed or scattered at the loss of the ascended god that summoned them. You also still are aware of the body of your sister residing in the platforms below. Um, it's at this point that you notice that the green tendrils of energy that hold the Tower of Antropis together begin to flicker and subside, and the platforms that were slowly drifting and listing suddenly begin to shift. No, no, no. I, I take off on my broom and, and uh, I go down to try to get her I from where I. Okay. You guys dart over the side. What are the rest of you guys doing? I had the immovable rod pulled out, and I just click it where I am. All right, you hold in place, and you feel the platform give beneath you, and your toes are now just dangling in the middle of the air as you watch the cracked open right side of Entropis's peak just begin to topple and fall beneath you. What are you guys doing? I'm still a planetar. Yes. And do you sell Bigby's hand up? I, for maybe 30 seconds more. Uh, Where's <laughs> the carpet? It's in my back. <laughs> I, uh, I do like a like a potato sack hold on Scanlan to okay. make sure he's all right. It's a classic. You grab him. Pike still has some time. She still has her wings. I mean, I can throw it to you. That would be nice. You yes, please. Okay. Can I pull the carpet out of the bag of holding? Do you just want to free fall and go after it? No, no. No? no. <laughs> Which, by the way, the platform is now giving underneath you. Yeah, no, I'm Why don't you fly it over? <laughs> I don't think I can be on it with him, right? Oh, oh right. right. I'm too. I'm still enlarged. Well, here, can I? Yeah, you are. One of us fly over and get it. And yeah, do bring that. That'd be nice. Yeah, that works better. Flap, 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 flap. Okay. There you go. Technically, uh, he was on the broom with me, so I could have dropped him off with one of you before I flew down to the Well, well, I've got a carpet. I would Just say, step. as you're having this conversation about the carpet, you're dragged down over the side as the broom rockets off. <laughs> Vex's mind currently focused more on other things, so. The last thing you hear from Percival is like, could you ah! As he darts off the side, the platform is beginning to give as the flickering green energy begins to fade. And you guys both dart beneath where you can see upon the rubble where the top and uh, staircase had broken apart from the ori original sundering of the top of the tower. And there you see, still lying there, lifeless, the body of Valora. You rush in there just as the platform is collapsing. I need you both to go ahead and make acrobatics checks on this to see how quickly you can maneuver in and out. Okay, 30. 31. Okay. Both of you guys rush inward, and as some of the various chunks are beginning to fall and separate from underneath the platforms, you begin to dart through, dodge, and there you grab and lift her body, both of you kind of cradling her, and in a moment's notice, deciding which one of you is going to take her. I got her. All right. Vax, you go ahead and dart off. You, Kareem, back out of the way just as the central large platform <laughs> crashes down with a heavy impact. You can see it crumble and break into three separate pieces and begin to tumble. The tower then <laughs> gives in from underneath and begins to collapse downward, almost like a controlled demolition. Uh, as it begins to, to fall and topple down below, uh, you all kind of gather your thoughts and consider other allies that were recently... Falling? Uh, <laughs> a, a, a short time ago, yes. Uh -huh. Zaren and, and, and Cash. Yeah, yeah. With Scanlan in hand, kind of start diving down to go see if I can find them. Okay. Have any sight of them at all. What's the flying speed of your planetar? 150 feet. Okay. 
as you holding the skin under your arm, coast down at a speed to the point where now you're actually racing the crumbling of the tower. You're watching the actual cracks as they emerge, as the energy is dissipating, beginning to subside as your speed overtakes the rate in which it's collapsing. Like Superman and Lois Lane. But yeah, like, oh. as, as, you're, as you're dirty. <laughs> <laughs> The G's are intense scaling, your eyes are watering, kind of blown back on your face. You know, the iron symbol on your forehead is flaring like a spotlight ahead of you. As you rock it down, you glance, you can see there across the rocks at the bottom, uh, two wyverns that are just scattered across the rubble, and you see lying there the bodies of Kasha and Zara. Fuck. They're dead. Fuck. Turn around, let's go back. They're, They're dead. Shut They're up. dead. Scanlan. Leave them. Are they dead? Make a perception check. <laughs> Scanlan with your head so I have my oh, perception. I'm just hanging off of this thing. Uh, you're... Make... A perception check? Sure. Yeah. I am a million eight. You're high up there. <laughs> That's a long way up. 18. Why don't you just do some bullet That's a great roll. You know you can use your broom, I mean, your, the carpet, because Percy's They're on the both, broom with me. They're both... Their Ooh. bodies are brutalized, like from the impact. They oh. hit. They're like they're splatted. Well, they're, they're not splattered. splatted. They took a good. They're not ribbon. you on the cliff. Sure, sure. They they didn't goldfish it. <laughs> a know. good revivify might help. They shrouded it. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, Are they? Uh, they're unconscious. You're you're just now approaching. Okay. Um, as you get there, you can hear the rumbling of the tower getting louder. You've just barely beaten it. What are you doing? You've got. You got to move them. I gotta move them. Okay. I gotta move them. Right? Yeah, two Is arms. that what you're saying? Two arms. Uh, Scanlan. Mm-hmm. Can you, like, you're fine, right? Handle yourself. And I. <laughs> Kayla just sets you on the ground <laughs> as you look over and see the tower. <laughs> Drop the kid off and take care of this. Well, like, good, hold right? on to my back. You want to hold on to my back? I have no spells left. So okay, hold on to my back. I will climb on. Just <laughs> <laughs> just dropping that last poke and then it's coming down. Like, oh, okay. So as Coming you dive on, and you go and grab both of their, their 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 limp bodies and pull them under your arms and dart. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Jesus Using the Christ. dexterity saving throw. Oh my god! Through. If we thought we made it out of this and then we all just okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, eighteen. No, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, you managed to oh, wow. scoot by just as one of the large chunks of the no. base. Yes. Continue. One of the large chunks of the base falls over to one side, and as you dart out wings before you, Scanlan clustered on your back, both of their bodies beneath, shh, you can feel the gust of wind from behind as the collapsing wall is pushing all the air in your direction. And as you focus down, your wings out, uh, you just manage to careen just underneath as the shadow that was beginning to fall over you pulls behind and behind you. hear the, the dust pick up, and you guys all look down and watch as the tower finally falls to its final piece of rubble there on the ground. At which point you glance down and you can see both of them, their eyes roll open, kind of lulling in their face. Okay. Both Zara and Kasha. I'm gonna do seemingly um, conscious, which if oh. you guys want to step in. I'm going to immediately burn two of my healing touches, and you get 68 plus three hit points back. Okay. Welcome back. I like to straddle. Seven, eight, nine. Here we go. So, so Kasha and Zara, both of you, like you've been kind of lying there on the ground for a moment, just going. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. And as your as your vision focuses. You watch as the tower begins to collapse downward in your direction. The shadow just seems to close over you. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> 29 hit points to both of you immediately. Okay. Oh. And with a flash, something white, feathered, and blue just shoots past you, grabs you, and you are thrust into the air, carried by what looks to be the angelic form of Keyleth. Hi, Kiki. Hi. How are you, darling? Oh, you're right. Did you did you recognize me because the antlers? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think That's I, I keep them. I think I They're very identifying. I think I dreamt of you. Yeah. No, no, that was that was real and incredible and and you you all you all showed up. How did you why did you come? We had to come. She made us. <laughs> <laughs> I had a vision. It's good to see you. Thank you for that. You had a vision? I did. I had a vision. Of Are you okay? White, white wings and blue. And Are you yeah. okay? I think we're all right. Both of you. Yeah. <sighs> um, 
Don't piss off a pregnant tiefling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? Thank God for that. Haven't you heard of pulling out? <laughs> <laughs> Do it all the time. I tried. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> I wouldn't let him. <laughs> the tail held me in place. Oh. <laughs> oh. You always said you liked that. So. Wow. Okay. <sighs> Can you put us down somewhere, maybe? Yes. Oh, oh, that would be lovely. Thank you. I kind of drop cash, but very lightly <laughs> sit down, Zara. You tumble. Thank you. Did uh, we win? Congratulations. <laughs> Did we win? Which, actually, no, you're healed up. You're fine. You're, okay. Yeah. Because the, the death ward brought you guys to one hit point, and then she healed you before she dropped you, so you're fine. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Thank you. I probably deserve that. Thank you. <laughs> So did we win? What happened? What, so yes. we're uh, sitting on the Titan now? You guys are now, you're down in the street level of Tharam Fala. But still on the Titan. Still on the top of the Titan. Is he falling? Mm, He's just frozen. Make a perception check. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> two. You have no idea. <laughs> Pregnant? What? <laughs> I, I thought you were gay! <laughs> so, so we've talked about this, it's all right. Can I take out the carpet and start making my enlarged form way down to them? Just by myself. Uh, oh, Pike's with you. Oh, is she? Yeah, Pike's still with you up there. She's fine. She's got wings. Yeah. I don't, with a strength of 19 and your enlarged size, can I just spell the enlarge? No. Oh, it's just in for 10 minutes. I'm just me. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you get the sense at this size that, that carpet, carpet could not carry you. Never mind, I get that sense. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> I grab the earring and I say, Will someone please do me a favor? Will you look for Arkhan's hand? Find me that hand. Oh. I'm totally ignoring Isn't it him falling? thinking about falling. Well, I think it's all fall now. It was on one of the platforms. Wait, you want to find his hand on yeah. a giant tower full his of rubble? Hand, not yeah. Vecna's hand. Whose hand? What? Vecna's hand is gone. Oh, Ve Vex or I can find it. Vex or I can find it. I need that. In a moment. Hand. At this point, you've both come down now to the base of the tower. You know, at the speeds you were, it took you a while to kind of catch up to the rest of everybody else, but. I, uh, I look up and say, Grog, do you, do you need a hand? Oh. Are you all right? <laughs> Oh, not, damn it, no, that pun wasn't intended, Scanlan. Damn it. I just asked for it. I just asked for it. Literally just said that. Do you need assistance getting down from hanging from a bar in the middle of the air, to be very literal? <laughs> Yeah, it would be nice. I don't know how we're going to do that. Get him down. I fly up. Oh. It's your angelic wing Zara? maneuver. Can you, you cast, cast fly, fly on him? Do, do that. Zara, Zara has fly. She can cast fly on I him. I cast fly on Grog. Okay, you have to get a little closer to do it because oh, of the rain. You could just I, cast I fly on people. Can I use my cloak of the bat? Yeah, you could actually. To fly up so and then yeah. cast. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. I fly up and I cast. Look, Hello, you darling. Need double ability to you, fly. You, you watch. You watch as Zara suddenly her cloak extends into two large leathery bat wings and she <laughs> flies her way up, pretty close to where you are. You watch for a second there. You glance down. Roll perception check. <laughs> Ten. You see a gloomstalker coming right at you. <laughs> as you hold the sword out in front, um, you notice in a second it's it's Zara. Oh. No, but, the, but the sword, by the way, at this point, as you hold it out in front of you again, post battle oh, no. goes like, "What part is done? Well played, but he still survives. We'll take him, and we'll take that dragon. It must be destroyed. It's still out there, together." Okay, yeah, together. we're gonna. We're, I see, I see them. It's a fuzzy bad. Sorry. Croak. Hello, darling. Hey, Did you ever use that moon hammer I gave you? Uh, yeah, all the time. Just right. covered in blood. Right. Yep. In the moonlight, right? Yep, need to get it cleaned. Yeah. Good. Well, I look forward to hearing your tales. Do you need some help, my darling? I, I do, unless, you know, you just want to hang out with me up here for a bit. Well, I could, but how is your arm? You know what? No, let's just do it. I, I cast fly. <laughs> Let and, go. And you can fly. 
You're just kind of clo- gliding in the air. Don't you want, you want you, <laughs> he starts slowly shifting. Don't leave the rod. Don't leave the rod, leave the rod. It's all right, it's all right. Just focus. Focus. You'll be fine, Bob. Just focus. Just yes. Think of yourself as a cow. As a flying cow. You remember? You remember? Grab the rod. Oh, right. Click. Put it back in the bag of holding. This is great. Oh my god, I would do this every day. You can do it for at least an hour, so that's good. Can I drunkenly fly down to everybody else? <laughs> and you do. It's like a slow spiral, and you kind of just begin to to gimbal backward. Yep. And she has to write you a couple times. Can You're I staying as I get closer, just yeah. for a dramatic effect. Uh, Focus on me. No squirrel. There's no squirrels. Focus. Focus your mind. No. 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 It's all right. Just. Come down. Come down. Oh. down in the... oh. <laughs> All right, you can do that too. Look out below. Three point landing. Super hard. <laughs> make it super hard. Make an acrobatics check. Super, super hard. Superhero landing. Superhero landing. Not great. Yay. Uh, not bad. Oh, not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So you only take. Oh, that's still raging. Four thousand. You were rage hanging. <laughs> you take uh, 24 points of bludgeoning damage, oh, wow. reduced 12. to 12. Wow. And Grog is dead. And three-point landing. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, watch a column, or a, a, a crater is left beneath where his impact is. The smoke slowly subsides, and Grog's there, fist in the ground, kind of Thor Ragnarok style. And yeah. we're all on the ground now? You are all now on the ground floor of Tharamfala. As you I'm glance catch. around. Flexing the wings out and around and I'm making a feather bed uh, with the ends of the wings on the ground and laying the Laura mm. down. Tell me you have revivify. Tell me. Tell me you can bring her back. I believe I do. I'll start combing her hairs with my fingers out of her let eyes. Let me check, let me check. I do. So who am I casting it on? Oh, sister. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, okay. Let's see what we can do. I'm sorry, I'm still a little sore. It was. No, a, yeah, it's terrible. Please help her. It was a terrible fall. Give me one second. I'm so sorry. Oh. Her? This one? Yeah, all right. Let's yeah. do that. I'm going to cast Revivify. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, she's been dead longer than a minute, so the spell does not take effect. You don't know how long it's been, or perhaps your just final moments of. <laughs> a fucking wither was just Bad enough to push it over the edge. Wow. Keeps happening. Wow. Now. Sorry. Uh, I can be the dead if you'd like to talk. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> it's time for one message. Does she owe you money? I can have her find out where it is. Do you have anything a little more potent right now? Um. I I can raise dead. Well, there we go. Is she gonna See? come back as a zombie? No. She'll be a normal. Just, just raised. I just Please. might need some help. Where's Pike? I can raise the dead, too, if you need Pike help. Pike is then slowly yeah. flying down. She doesn't come back as a zombie, right? It's like raising dead. Uh, well, there, <laughs> is right? it the actual I raise dead that. spell? So is my, uh, mine is. Uh, is it no, three ra- times a day? Yeah, ra- raise dead. Uh, you can bring something back to life, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That yep. takes an hour to cast. Yep. Do they murder yep. someone yep. 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 when yep. you do that? No. Like a horror movie? If I if I did it with cash, would that like? I'm with Zara now. Help. So let's try to keep that in mind. Wow, yeah. two for two tonight. Yeah, nice shot. Sure. I don't know how to respond to that. Your sense of humor is your best quality, <laughs> isn't it? Best. So it's we'll get her. Favorite. She'll be fine. As as you guys take a moment and realize the the time, the involvement that would be here for the uh, uh, do the spell, you glance about in the streets of Tharamfala and what. Straggling undead and or cultists seem to have been either trying to scramble back up to the city or hadn't made their way down through or just here as sentinels uh, are frantically trying to escape and being cut down and grabbed by the various eagle riders and the uh, the rest of the army that's currently now beginning to swarm in thanks to the complete falling of the barrier with the ceiling of Vecna. Um, you do feel at this moment that you do have some time in Tharamfala without any immediate danger. But if it gets to that, I can stay and raise her, and you guys can go and take care of the city. Thank you. I, I don't even know if I have a full hour left on my form. That's the only problem. That's why I, I would stay. need help, but I can help. She I needs to rest start. anyway. I can stay. I'll stay with him. Thank you. We'll focus Thank on you. that. 
we'll all stay until we don't have to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I help Cash as much as I can. Okay. I sit down and hold her hand. All right. So, start cleaning her cheeks as well as we can. And I don't take my eyes off of Axel the whole time. Oh yeah, shit. I'm just holding my medal. Okay, I'm starting the spell. <clears throat> as you guys form a perimeter here at the base of Entropis, the sky now open, the clouds dispelled and scattered, and probably for the first time in weeks, uh, especially from your guys' perspective, Vasselheim sees the sky blue. Um, the sunlight rains down from above, and the warmth that comes through is very comforting as you begin to clear the space and scrawl out the sigils and glyphs necessary for this raised dead ritual. Um, as you're going through the process and you, you quietly begin to focus, um, you can see some of the uh, eagle riders and straggling wyvern riders take notice, begin to come close and then stop and just keep a distance and kind of recognizing the significance of this moment, respectfully stay away. As he's casting the glyphs, he goes over, he's about to write the last one, and he walks over to Vex, and he takes one tear, and he goes back over and uses it to do the last glyph. As he draws the last glyph with the tear, you can watch that one seems to have an additional flare, a connection, a sparkle of bloodline connectivity between you and the deceased. Um, as you complete the spell, uh, I need you to go ahead and uh, bring to this ritual what you'd like. Oh, oh God. Jesus, really? I, uh, God. I, 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 I take one of my arrows that has the owl bear feather on it, and I, I put it down next to her because I know she had, like, she loved owl bears. Okay. Uh, go ahead and just roll a d20 for me. start to fasten it around her. This is yours, you're going to have to take care of him now. His name is Simon. Most people don't think he's alive, but they're wrong. He's very much alive. Take care of him for me. I didn't get nearly enough time with you. I'm sorry. I love you very much. I kiss her on the forehead. Roll another d20. Uh, I rolled an 18, but I'm going to use luck. Good, 18 is good. Okay. I take the moonstone from my staff, and I clasp it in my hands, and I say, Sirius, you asked me to be here and to judge them. They are worthy. Give me this boon. Help me save this girl. For true friendship, which I never had until now. Help me save her. Help us all save her. And I place the moonstone down next to her head. Okay. Go ahead and roll a d20 for me. I use that. If you want to. As you complete the ritual, all the sigils in place lighting up, it's unique because you're used to the ritual completed by uh, an acolyte of Sarenrae, which everything has a glow of warmth to it. This ritual is completed by an acolyte of an entity named Vesh. And as each sigil flares, you watch as they darken into the deepest shadow. It's a yin-yang dichotomy as the spell begins to take effect until eventually the whole circle becomes pitch black, like the deepest of lightless midnight. At that moment, you watch as Valora's form itself is also cast into shadow and disappears from view. And for a moment, you fear she's gone. 
before the shadow begins to peel away like a cocoon. And as it tears and rolls back, the subtle sound of sand shifting and paper crackling. You watch as her chest begins to move once more, breathing. Her eyes still closed, but life breathes into her lungs once more. With a natural 19. <laughs> Oh, and I pop Trinket out of his necklace, and it casts Cure Wounds on him so it can okay. lick her face. The Trinket comes out, Trinket is burned and battered, armor's kind of dinged up and screwed up. Like, on, the, on his face, it's kind of askew to one side. He got meteored. <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, oh, I've still got a third level Cure Wounds on him, right. so oh, I guess. Cause and I cause him to speak. No, you all right, Trinket? I don't care. And Trinket comes forward to, to Valora and just begins licking her face. And she, who is breathing but unconscious, the eye begins to slowly open. And her eyes kind of open up a little bit. You can see her, you know, her skin darkened from the, uh, the blast and the rubble and the dust that's now beginning to settle around the base of Entravis. And she looks up and first sees the lapping tongue of Trinket against her cheek and kind of giggles and pushes him away a little bit. And she sees the feather and looks at it, and now looks up to see the person that's holding her, and looks, meets both of your gazes, hey. and just... Hi, little monkey. Hi. <laughs> You're an awfully long way from home. What happened? You went on an adventure, that's all. She kind of gets quiet for a second, trying to remember, trying to recall, and just... Very tired. Of course. And she kind of just curls up and pulls tighter around Vex's neck. Cash steps in. You don't feel evil, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and she pulls back and kind of looks over at you. Who's this human? Well, he sort of saved your life just now, dear. He's a friend. Come on. Oh. oh. Right. No, but seriously, could she be evil? Mm -hmm. Seriously. No, there's. No. You feel no. okay? She, she kind of arranges the situation, looks back to you, and goes. <laughs> <laughs> she's fine. I'd watch yeah, her. She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, pull, <laughs> she, pulls, she, she pulls back into you and kind of whispers in the ear and says. He's pretty stupid, isn't he? <laughs> He's really, really stupid. And she kind of giggles and then kind of sighs into you. Okay, just, yeah, just rest. <laughs> can I, I'm just gonna just sit her on top of Trinket so she can take a little nappy nap. Okay. Mm. And she passes right out. Like, she's just, her. she's spent. She's exhausted. Mm. City's still burning. Yes, it is. We have work to do. We got a lot of people down there we know. I know. The slaves take us in desperate need. We should check on the Sphinx. Sphinx, right. We can't thank you enough. You guys Again. <laughs> always do throw the best parties, that's for sure. Yes, you do. I'm so glad you're, you're all right. I'm glad we could help. Yeah. That's why we're going to name our child Vax. I'm totally kidding. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> 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 Take the moonstone. Keep it with you. And if you need me, well, I won't come because I'll be away. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, you'll be a little busy with I'll the child. Little busy, and all. Yes, but come and visit if you get a chance. Who knows? Twins runs in my family, so you never oh. know. Really? <laughs> yes. Lilith told me. Oh, the joke's on you. Yeah. <laughs> I give you a big hug. Yes. I love you, darling. I love you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, dearest. <laughs> Crazy. Scanlan. Yes. You little bastard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is my full name. Yes. yes. And I plant a giant, Ooh. fiery kiss on him, um. and my tail wraps around oh. his head. I try to get away. The, the tail. The tail. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you. ah, you're right. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, thank you. I miss doing your hair. Well, I'm. I 
miss doing well. We'll <laughs> <laughs> see each other again, I hope. It's Grog. Yeah. You said moon hammer. I, w- I mean, again. At night, in Use the night. In the moon. Right. Yeah, under the moon. Yeah, It's obviously. called a moon hammer. Look. Use it in the moonlight, I think you'll be surprised. Pleasantly. In the nude. Surprised. Without pants. Right. Without pants. The moon. Yeah. Moon. No. moon for moon. Yes. As Only above, so clouds. below. Yes. And then we'll end the... Take your pants <laughs> off, here double, we go. Double yes. damage on cows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck some cows up. <laughs> oh, Grog, I love standing next to you in battle and hate standing next to you at the urinal. That's <laughs> <laughs> wow. just the way it is, well, my friend. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> <clears throat> Take care of our girl. I'll try. Take care of her. Never gone to see your family. Mm, thank you, love. We'll be in Whitestone again soon. I'll see you soon, dearest. Don't see us too soon. I mean, whenever you're near us, you both almost die. That's true. So, <laughs> That's okay. just give it to time. Almost. <laughs> That's the key word. Is almost. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You saved our lives. Oh, can never no. repay you. No. Well, no, believe no. you saved us first by showing yeah. up. Yeah. 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 We saved each other. Yeah. That's kind of what Vox Machina is all about. This is yeah. the second time around, even. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we do for each other. I love you, Max. I love you too, Mary. Oh. <laughs> oh. Baby, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you begin to hear distant horns. Echoing throughout the city streets, just distant, very emanating throughout the sky. As you glance over, you haven't heard these horns before, um, but they sound less like horns of warning and more like horns of victory. Glancing down in the streets, there are still flames and columns of smoke, and you can still see scuffles beneath. Um, the siege weaponry attacks against the Titan have subsided, and it is not moved at all. It is locked in place. A large statuesque like mountain of an ancient entity now lording over the edge of the braving grounds, almost creeping upon the outskirts of the quad roads towards the center of the city, leaving a path of destruction in its wake. Most of the Braving Grounds is in tatters, but. I look at Percy. This will be a wonderful place for a summer home. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. What? No. We have to leave. They need us back. Yeah. Don't be strangers, Don't though. Don't be We won't. Look in. Thank you, guys. We will. Look in here. Yeah. So Thank you. Thank you as well. So, this is what it's like to have a family, huh? Mm, I can get used to that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Family mm. soon. Mm. Well, I, I shit more than your kid will, but I was really <laughs> hoping. Yeah. Great. Other than that, it's just it's like this, but with less shit. Okay. <laughs> well, then we'll be happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Always. Call us if you need us. Yeah. Anytime. Same. We'll be here. All right. All Thank right. you. Luck in battle. Thank you. Bye, love. See you Bye, later, love. smart ass. Thank you. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah. Treat her well, or I'm gonna come back. Hey, we got your hands full, right? Yeah, it's true too. Right, and as literally, as says. she completes a secondary flying spell, these two yeah. coast off over the edge of Tharum, fall down into the center, down into the center of Vasselheim on the Rhone. At which point, uh, you notice three battle-disheveled wyvern riders that were waiting at the side begin to approach. One of them you recognize as a captain, signified by these ivory horns that curl out of the back of the helmet and grow longer than the regular wyvern rider's armor you've encountered. Uh, having stepped off the armored drake that currently waits, kind of shaking its head, large leathery wings kind of dug into the nearby rubble, uh, the warrior approaches, um, pulling the helmet off, revealing a tumble of braided amber hair with shaved sides and a rather stern-looking woman that you don't recognize. Vox Machina! I'm Captain Oberlin. I would ask, does this shift in tide signify anything? Does the lich still loom about? He fucking did. <laughs> <clears throat> does not. The battle is won. Did you see it the way? It is done. It is. 
Fucking <laughs> Dave. <laughs> the Lady, God, thanks, Ali. Lady, yes, yes. The gods grant their grace upon Vasselheim still. I. We thank you. Uh, uh, there's a little time to celebrate. Well, there's still much to be done, but. Uh, please bring this information to Platinum Sanctuary, to somewhere of significance in the city. This information needs to go out. This, this will greatly bolster the ranks, the morale of those. Start spreading the word yourself. You can help us out, right? Oh, we shall. We're she pretty looks over damn tired. Soldiers. I've got the last flare from, from Whitestone from all those years ago. I still have a... Oh, I have a purple flare, too. We should all send them off. I was going to say, I think I still have a sky right. Let's do yep. it. Yep. I send out my purple flare, too. I pull out my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, roll a d20. Please. No! Natural 20. No! <laughs> Say hello to my even little friend! Oh so, God. as you guys send up your colored white stone crest flares into the sky, oh what do you sky write? Vecna defeated. As the, a lot of that's a lot of words. The whips of cloud words. begin to spell across. Pwned. V def. V pwned. I mean, I can write it out. Yeah. yeah. As it coasts across, you hear this loud got, like, echoing. Like sixteen characters. <laughs> as the uh, the end in the middle of Vecna seems to dissipate with a little puff, as a perfectly aimed bullet from one pistol that does not backfire because that would have been fucking funny. Yes. Uh, all I wanted. All I wanted. Was <laughs> so good. Make a performance. Uh, yeah. well, just roll, go ahead and roll a performance check. Performance? Come on. Yeah. 28. 28. <laughs> you, for a man who's only shot a pistol once, he like revolver ocelots that shit. He's been cracking that shit like in his bedroom. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. yeah, in the mirror. Yeah. yeah. Behind the back. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Andy Oakley? <laughs> I've been watching you. <laughs> Percy's like, I don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> these, yeah, no. these, these flares <laughs> yeah. bursting and slowly descending, kind of coming down and bringing this, it was a purple flare, and what was the color of yours? Uh, gold, if I recall. So gold and purple begin to burn down below, giving this strange atmospheric light to the outside of the large, still titan form as the, the words across the sky, you begin to hear this low, gathering of cheers. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of voices where you once heard screaming and yelling, now join in unison. A rallying cry of victory that crawls across the entirety of Vasselheim around you on all sides. So, what do you guys want to do? I need, I need that hand. May I have locate object or something? I do. I mean, yeah. yeah. Is it an object? I guess it's inanimate now. It is considered an object now. I do. <laughs> that's good, that's I've good. I've got it. I've seen it, I have the spell still. All right, so you cast Locate Object and you have a very strong vision of the direction and it's maybe about 100 feet to your left and it is under quite a bit of rubble. Big man, come on, I'm gonna need you to dig, it's over here. Not a problem. All right, <laughs> so. <laughs> giving, giving him direction, <laughs> just rage picking through, like tossing veritable small boulders with one-handed scoops. You guys are having to dodge out of the way as they go flying by, and <laughs> getting to a halt, maybe you know 50, 60 feet behind them. Um, go ahead and make an investigation check with advantage, okay? Because of his aid. Oh, that's about as good as it gets, because that's even worse. Uh, 16. 16, okay. It takes, you, it takes you a little while, but thanks to Locate Object, you cruise through and you eventually find uh, it's it's been smashed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's still intact. And there you see the uh, completely cut off, uh, red scaled, clawed hand of Archon the Cruel. He fucked us. Yeah. 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 He helped us. And, and then he the fucked us. us. Yeah. yeah. I guess the help was worth the fucking, but only like a little bit. Yeah. The voice creeps into your head. Take it, find him. He has to die. 
feel like I should take this and try and find him. I mean, he's got to fucking die. Yeah. I mean, right? yeah. I mean he, he probably does. I mean, he was so cool and like strong, and like only his physique rivals my own. But like, I sure. mean. I just feel like he's got to die. Please, but, uh, he couldn't touch you. Are you kidding? No. You yeah, right. Having... Couldn't. Couldn't. I mean, couldn't. you seem to like him a lot. Are you sure you want to kill him, not just like try to get Grog? Well, I mean, like, hold on. You know, we all think you're strong. You don't need to have an inferiority complex. Uh, what? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna. I don't, understand. Need, I don't think he, he has. Complex. Complex. Wait, so he he's a paladin of what? Tier tier. Right. Is that a good Tim or, or a bad? Bad, bad I'm guessing? Make a religion check. With advantage, I'd say because you still have. Uh, the blessing would have worn off. But. That thing could rot. Do you know uh, what preserves a hand? Yeah. The bag of cold. Team that's very bad. Team yeah, that's very bad. No, notice the scaled tyrant. She resides in the Nine Hells and is the patron <laughs> deity of all chromatic dragons. Oh. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. She's the, she's the dragon god. god. Of she? Good, like of she, the opposite of, of, of uh, Bahamut. Oh God. Of good dragons or bad? Bad, bad dragons. Okay. Dude, I mean, like, I feel like he had a good inside, but I mean, the hand does bad things, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, well. The hand does really bad things. You know what you should do is bring that to, like, Bahamut. Yeah, after you piss on it. You, to, you should bring what, that what, to them. Why are you so c like connected to the, the pissing thing? I don't, I don't like that guy. guy. But then maybe if like they try to use the well, hand did, to find it, it like might just lead now. them to you instead because you've already pissed on it. What, leave them to my junk? P potentially. People have come you looking for You don't want people chopping less. off your junk thinking your junk is back in his hand, do you? It doesn't even look like a hand. <laughs> It's just like one really it's big like, middle it's finger. More like a, it's like a, <laughs> like a mole, right? It's more like a mole. Yeah, yeah. All right. I have it. I'm not gonna preserve it. I swear, I think I've just you put, put it in the bag, bag of cold things. Put it in the bag of cold things. Such a mistake. That's on the to do list. We'll go find All right. it. And Bahamut, Bahamut is the Tia. platinum. Tia. No, no, Bahamut the guy. is yeah. the good dragon that is correct. of yes. the platinum variety. Yes. yes. Would you say they are at odds? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Yeah, Safe like Godzilla King Kong? Yes. I don't exactly. know those references, but yeah, they are at odds. What's her name? Worshipped Bahamut, the... Kima. Was yeah. it Kima? Kima! Yes, that's right. Kima worships Bahamut. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe we take... I'll just hold on to the hand right now. What's going on there, Grog? Nothing, nothing. I just, oh, we just, this is a big fight. You're making that monologue face. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Like that face that someone makes when they're listening to some very complex internal monologue. You don't make that face very often. I'm making it right now. What? Yeah. Just just start speaking whatever's in your head right now. What's free form? Free I'll form have to go me. after the hat. I must kill Vecna. Okay. I have to do these things. Oh, okay, this, gonna is, this, is, this is starting to paint the picture. <sighs> You feel better now. Okay. Is that going on all the time in your head? No. Okay. So are you, li are you lying? Are you lying right now? Nodded when he said no. DM just for funsies. <laughs> yes. He nodded when he no. said no. no. Do I sense Vecna in any way, shape, or form? No. Okay. Definitely want to piss on that hand, Rob. <laughs> Don't piss on. Don't yeah. piss on the hand. D hey, number one, it's already in the bag of colding, and I don't want everything else pissed on. Listen, Rob and I don't share much, except <laughs> pissing. <laughs> it was an honest question. That's true. <laughs> what should we do, you guys? I'm so tired. I grab onto Vax and don't let go. We have okay. more pressing concerns. That does remind me, Scanlan. What? You're going to have to give it back now. Oh. Give what back? You know exactly what. <laughs> that was part of a The gun? That was yes. part of a trade. This is my gun. I don't think it's your gun. I found it. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, look, there was a trade of items. I got a cloak of smashy out of it, and you got I all the other stuff. I found it fair and square. It's my gun. There's no fair and square, and, and, and honestly, if you, would, you were anybody else, I would find it when I was rummaging through your corpse later, but it's you. 
<laughs> so instead, I just use my words, and I'm trying to I'm trying to be a All better right. person. <laughs> If you really like it, maybe we'll have a special one made that's a little safer. But not that one, that's one of mine. I look so cool. I'll make you something fancy that's a little less prone to explode. And Scanlon, you should know you always look cool, always. Especially with the head thing, it's quite nice. Not yeah, this, this is Not awesome. Naked. Does he still have the, the blessing? The blessing is faded by now. Oh. So you should get that tattooed in permanent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see. That's I can. A good idea. Really good idea. idea. I can draw it on you with the remaining remnants. That way, you have it there, like kind of always. I love it. Okay, I draw, <laughs> draw the outline of the remaining okay. glyph on his head. Okay. <laughs> so you, you take some some ash and mm -hmm. charcoal from the nearby rubble and just kind of Actually, loosely many, draw the symbol on his forehead. Go ahead and go and roll a dexterity check. Okay. Yeah, you know, just straight decks. Yep. Don't fuck me, Gil. Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, that's 14. passable. Okay. Yeah, that that right there. That's perfect. Get that tattooed. All right. Oh um, yeah, it's gonna happen. I feel like we should all get a tattoo to commemorate this. On the forehead. Yeah. Definitely on the forehead. Yeah. Well, maybe in different places. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to get it in the same place. The same tattoos, Maybe really. on a theme, but not the exact same no, thing. We yeah, already yeah, all yeah. got tattoos, didn't we? Well, we got tattoos. That's all. Another thing. <laughs> no, we didn't. I'm not sure what not we're you. talking about anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! I thought we got him in character. No, he got him. He I'm got just him. him. And, and I got him. one. And she oh, we got have the Slayer's one. take. Got, and and he one. got one. We were branded. Yeah. And then I've got mine. Got and then got he a, has his. I have a burnt hand on my back. Right, I'm mostly healed. Elven. Yeah. No, he's not mostly healed. Scanlan Shortholt. You don't need a gun to look cool. You are the meat man. You are Burt Reynolds. You are a fucking hero. I'm gonna just throw it away. No. I'm gonna just throw. Throw it away. Respond. <laughs> <laughs> Make a slight of hand check. <laughs> Not nine. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. No. No. I was, no. Bullshit. My past perception is twenty-one. Yeah, 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 you guys totally like, see him. Just it's, yeah. it's the worst example of trying to. <laughs> That's the trick I did for my eight-year-old. Oh, yeah. there it went. <laughs> Look at it go. Okay. Wow! All right. <laughs> <laughs> you caught it? You caught it around the world. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I think. <fake. laughs> hey, while he's uh, I, while I, he's passed out, should we get the sword off of him? Why? Might, mm. might be hard. Because <laughs> it seems like he's uh, a little weird from it. Yeah. Nobody else feels that way. I think it so. Helps I mean, he's acting I mean, like he, a. He, he, he's weird, but. Don't. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, good. Uh, you're so strong. <clears throat> there. What did I miss? Nothing. We were talking about you. I mean, we were talking about. Sorry, I'm still working on it. Yeah, no, it's, it's getting better. A... Should um... we get off of the Titan, maybe? It could fall. Does anyone want to start walking towards the city to just see how bad it really is? We'll have to how get through the Titan that? to go, or we can fly down. How oh. many Outside of us can of that, fly? I don't know. Well, I guess we could take a couple trips trips on the we've carpet. We've got a carpet. Yeah. We've, got a, we've got some of us have wings. Uh, my, my wings, wings are, are gone. gone. Yeah, your wings are gone. Pike's wings are gone. Oh, you guys shit. have your broom. You have the it's carpet. Resurrection. So we can we take three trips on the carpet or something. Uh, no, it's we can roll on the broom and. Yeah. Have we taken? We'll just do a short rest at this point. Yeah, you guys have taken a short rest at this point. I can. My B shapes back. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's I'll say for the purposes good. of when you're helping with the ritual that he was casting, since it's an hour long, that would have been short rest easy. Oh, what's gonna, oh wow. What's you gonna, what's you gonna be? Well, what do you want to fly in on, no, I guess? I live for this. What do you want? Dragon? Uh, I can't do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, I can't before, do anything in the animal wait, kingdom. Need, before we go down, before we leave, what about oh. Silas? <gasps> Silas. Yeah. Mm. He's away. Wait. Right, but but isn't his uh, life he's here repairing somewhere. somewhere. I wonder if I could. He. They're cof coffins, right? Well, we we deduced that it doesn't take him that long to come back together, and it's been it has to be long. close though. It's yeah. Close. We're right, but we're like right at that cutoff point. 
I can Maybe. try and scry yeah, on him. Yeah, right, exactly. I mean, try and scry on him. Yeah, yeah, see let's, where he is. He might still be recovering. He's probably having a bad day. He doesn't have time. <clears throat> I'll scry on him. I don't know if we have light. There's a gold dragon that should be... Oh, oh. I haven't used any of oh, yes. my fifth level spells. We have a dragon. Do you have daylight still? Something with sun? I guess sunlight would just take him out, because uh, it's during the day. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I still have third level spells. Uh-huh. Yeah. Great. I mean, yeah, yeah. I also have my six level spells, which I have Sunbeam learned, which is That's dope. That's all you need. Just as long as you're in around. Okay, I'm going to scry on him. Do you want to trade boots, by the way, again? Okay, yeah, and he's used yes. all resistances. All right. so. We don't have to if you really like them. No, I'm going to do that. They are yours. Legendary resistances, is that what that was? Yeah, that is a. What's, uh, that's a natural 19 plus 7 wisdom save, so that's a 26. Oh my god! He beat what? your scry? Yeah. He rolled a natural 19. Natural 19. You I, can't do it? I can do it again. Can I do it again? If you have another spell slot for yep. it. Yeah. I'll do it again, I'll do All it again. Right. Here we go. Natural sixteen plus seven, so that's a twenty-three. That wins. I can I try to cast locate object on the pants he was wearing. <laughs> I uh. That's amazing. He actually. I mean, <laughs> that's I mean, an object. <laughs> she has seen them. I've seen that's them. Amazing. They're very nice. <laughs> Let me consult the, the game. verbiage. Bro- uh, broken is, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> that's that's amazing. Also and I sword. love you. <laughs> that is amazing. That is the greatest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> on his pants. Locate pants. <laughs> I would like to spy on pants. pants. The pantalones. Uh, on his loafers. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> so, just so you focus in your business. hard as you can <laughs> with Vampire. using, and you have a second level spell slot. I have, Vampire. yes. Gooch. So as you complete the spell and try and focus <laughs> as hard as you can on <laughs> on the pants <laughs> of Lord Silas Briarwood. He has pajamas he changes into. Yeah, they're Batman pajamas. <laughs> Nothing. No. Mm. He's, he's Nothing? definitely recovering naked. He's still naked. a fart in a box. Yeah. Fuck. Nothing. No pants? No pants. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe he has them in there. <laughs> he's in the butt. He's out there. You guys, the he's shirt cocking somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking he prepared. Man. He knew. He knew. <laughs> it's the only way they won't find me. He pulls his tearaways off and chucks him. <laughs> Just goes up and says hi to people. Oh, <laughs> shit. Slashing innocence through all the city. <laughs> well. This is dominate action. Children. Huh? Yeah, right. We're going to have to worry about him at contact. some point. All right. <laughs> now. Later then. I can try and scrying eye him. I also still have one more fit level spell. Yeah, but how are we going to take him out if you use all your spells to find him? Uh, I'm at six. We will hit him. Maybe we let him go. Well, no, she's saying go. she's saying you got one, one more scry? shot, uh-huh. and you still have some time. sunlight. One more time. One more time. Well, you've used the scrying eye. One more time. No, you used the scrying eye to before you took the long rest in, in the Feywild, right? Or was it after? That was for finding the sort of cast, wasn't it? Before we yeah. slept yeah. in the so Feywild. Before, yeah. Okay. So you, so you could use. But it. I'm usually using my fifth level spell. Okay, course. you are. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm using my third. That's a natural seven. <gasps> Back to work. Back so, to work. As you close your eyes. Is. Tell me where he is. As you close your eyes and focus, trying desperately to find the location of Celeste Briarwood, your vision pulls back and is thrust past the Titan, and there's a flash of movement, and you're suddenly seeing trees. You're sensing somewhere in the the thick forest, so the Vasper Timberlands, and there you focus on what appears to be rapidly flapping bat wings, just. Still trying to get back? He's still trying to get back. No, he's in a mist form. He's He's in the forest somewhere. He's in a deep forest with bits of snow around him. You're only catching glimpses of it as he goes through the no shadow underbrush. No but landmark, no nothing. Just trees, no endless trees. Endless. He's running. He's running, He's running away. Runners. I would have run if I were him. Yeah. Deal with him another day. He's in the Vesper Forest. Oh, we'll never see him again. He may never see him again. He may finally just be, have had enough. I mean, do you think there's ever a chance for Lady Briarwood to come back? I don't no. think so. Never say never. Never say never. Never say never, but probably not. Hmm. I mean, if we can bring people back, they might be able to. That's a good point. You would have to work very hard to make it happen. We're gonna live a life of paranoia, aren't we? Well, we knew that going in. (sighs) We'll be okay. Yeah. Should we go see, um, 
the leaders here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Let's go see who's left. All right. To the Platinum Temple. Which, as you guys are having this conversation around the corner, you see there's the a few of the eagle riders that are kind of getting on their eagle back and flying off. There is one figure that stays behind that turns around and begins to walk your direction. Um, and in the chaos, you hadn't noticed that when Vegna had been dispelled, the force cage that had maintained and locked in uh, Jaman Sa'ord had vanished. And you see uh, them turn around and look towards you in humanoid form. They approach with the long, jet black hair, the darkened skin, the beautiful coal-like ember eyes, tall, almost as tall as Grog, though lithe and forth and simply clothed, Jamon approaches. Well, I'm certainly impressed. I apologize to have not been as much help as I had hoped. That was a shitty spell he cast. Seems to be his forte. Yeah. Nonetheless, the least I can do is offer you a way into the city. That would be lovely. Yeah, gladly. I would like to speak with the council that remains as well. So, come with me. And Jamon turns around and steps about 20 feet away before the wings sprout out of their back and stretch to each side. You see the, the large brass dragon form expand, the claws onto the ground. As they turn their head back over the shoulder, the deep voice of the dragon form. Hop on. I, I'm going to hold on to Valora oh, yeah. and drink it. I swear, it's, it's, it's going to be the last time, buddy. I'm not going to keep making you go in this necklace much more. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Looks out of your cheek. And just kind of closes his eyes, waiting for it. Ooh, I love him so much. Into the necklace. Uh, and as Vax and Keyleth get situated on Jaman's back, I uh, whisper at the hurry eyes, I was going to say eagle. Giant eagle. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's go. good to know. I'll pick a pike, put it on my shoulders. Okay. Get on the ground. Pike climbs up, now, now wingless. Thank you. Holds the side of you. Grabs onto the belt you have across your chest. Yeah. All don't, right. Don't think. So is, do you all climb up onto Jamon's back? Absolutely. Yes. All right. Jamon, in Devosa form, then begins to run at a fast speed towards the edge of the city. Eventually, the wings begin to flap, and with one giant thrust of wind, <laughs> ascends, and once again, you feel the wind rocket through your hair, as was your entry towards the Titan, and you begin to crest over the edge of Tharamphala, over the Titan, and down towards the center of Vasselheim, with the wind roaring past your face, your cloak swooping behind you. <laughs> now you have an up, over bird's eye view, of the city that you've essentially saved, and really did so through a quick jaunt at the Feywild. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as the braving ground still, while in severe disarray and flames still burn, um, it looks to be most everything's under control now. Uh, whatever remains of the remnant cultists, warriors, and undead have either been destroyed, captured, or run out of the city. And as you pick up maybe 40, 50 feet over the rooftops, you see as hundreds of survivors of haphazardly armed bastions, as civilians of Vasselheim who've picked up whatever arms were available, of soldiers in the streets, children holding the hands of their families all glance up and point at the majestic brass dragon that coasts not more than maybe 40, 50 feet ahead, signifying once more a symbol of hope and victory. You hear the shouts behind you as you begin to make your way around the Heaven Stair Mountain, and then up, gliding over the steps, leading up towards the Platinum Sanctuary. Now, as you begin to glide up, you can see the steps are littered with broken bone, spiders of blood, Broken bodies in silvered armor and familiar black sludge, connotating the remains of slain gloomstalkers. 
the immediate ground conflict is over here, and has been for some time. Uh, the stillness is now occupied with clusters of wounded riders and platinum warriors that now rest uh, atop the apex of the stair and the sanctuary platform itself before you approach the entryway and the pillars. As you ascend, floating up, Devosa, Jaman lands right at the top of the stair as all the soldiers and medics who are in the process of handling the wounded, gathering the dead, all stop and look at the majestic brass dragon form as they lower themselves to allow each of you to carefully step off. And as you do, you watch as the chatter, the conversation, the quiver of worry, the intensity of the recovery comes to stillness as each of the soldiers, even those who have seen better days, stand up with a look of acknowledgement greeting you as you arrive. And I'll give a respectful bow of the head or knee to you as you approach and pass by. Whoa. In the stillness, you begin to walk towards the opening of the sanctuary. The doors open already and glance over your shoulder to see that Jamon has retaken their human form and is now walking at your side. Entering the sanctuary, you can see the odd uh, folks are rushing around a bit, and they notice your arrival as well, but are also trying to make sure that everything's counted for, and there's a bit of hustle and bustle. Uh, the old scale bearer, Jan, who greeted you first to Vasselheim, approaches quickly. Oh, oh goodness me! Um, uh, Hello. Hi. You, you're well. You look, uh, you look better, but so have we. That's fine. Um, uh, I, I have questions to ask, but perhaps it's best to come with me. And uh, darts back towards the central meeting chambers of the Platinum Sanctuary. You can see the uh, the circle of pillars that surround the wide marbled floors of the center chamber, where all these council meetings have previously taken place. You can see battle has taken place here. While most of the bodies or the wounded or dead have been removed at this point, you can see there are uh, elements of, of chipped and broken stone and, and marble. You can see uh, scattered remains and bloodstains at points towards the entryway, but most of it appears to have been halted at the entryway. All the combat has halted within the, uh, the sanctuary. Glancing past, you can see uh, most of the council you met last is not here. Uh, they're probably handling their various portions of the city. But you do see amongst uh, a number of uh, guardians, inner guardians of the sanctuary, uh, High Bearer Vord, who himself looks like he's seen a bit of a fray, and Allura Vysorin to his side. <laughs> Both harried, but alive. As soon as you begin to approach, their conversation comes to a halt. So Laura turns and sees you all. Her face brightens, and she immediately like rushes up, just tossing any sort of formalities to the side, and just runs up. Uh, and before she can give you a hug, she sees the child in your arms. And, She's all right. I'm so glad. Yeah, group hug, group hug, yeah, 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 yeah. She pulls you in and you all just kind of bundle into this big group hug, and heaving breaths of relief kind of cascade through your grouping. You hear the throat clear behind as Vord goes, <clears throat> Decorum, decorum. <clears throat> how's, how's Kima? Uh, I assume she's well. She's been doing what she does best, which is Wander to the streets, destroying things that she doesn't like. Oh, yeah. uh, I've been keeping a close eye from a distance as best I can, and she seems all right. Any word from Gilmore in the last hour? No. You too? Why? He was in the tower. He was a decoy. We almost slayed him. He'd been taken. He's all right. He's all right. We sent we sent him and Did he Sandra know? Do we know where he teleported off to? We don't. We, we, we sent him off went. with. Cassandra. Into the woods. Into the woods. Don't worry, it's a big woods. It'll be okay. <laughs> the city still stands. You have carried out a miracle. I've done nothing. Um, what seems to end the point? He gets, she gets cut off by a high bear of Vord who steps forward and now his arms crossed. So. Word seems to have spread. 
and I wish not to celebrate prematurely. I have reports that you were there, that you did battle with this ancient beast. What is your assurance? What is your confidence that this is indeed over and we're not lulled into a false sense of security? We're pretty sure he's alive and well, you know, he's, uh, he's a threat right now, and, um, what do we have proof? Oh, proof. I've never known a true sense of security, I'm not entirely oh, sure. The proof is we're here and we're alive. And that Titan has stopped moving. I am yeah. the champion of the Raven Queen, and she has allowed me to track his every movement uh, for a cool. while now. Oh, you mentioned that when we last met. He's gone. There was a process. We had travels. Right. You remember the word? Yeah, it's a very well done. Do Thanks. we still have the remains of the broken trammel, or did it shatter? Uh, oh no, shattered. that when it that shattered. shit shattered, it turned to, to glitter dust. Bomb. Yeah, glitter, glitter bomb. bomb. Oh, glitter bomb, bomb. Vecna. I like the idea. Oh God! That was my good eye. <laughs> 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 All right. You see, as as you guys are discussing, uh, High Bear's eyes locked to Vax's, and mm. you see softness return to his face. The tension, the unknowing, begins to subside, and a smile comes across his stilted, older, elvish, uh, elvish visage. You all. There was a time I did not look past your beginnings. I am ashamed of my misjudgment. He looks around as folks begin to gather, and he acknowledges Jermon has approached. And they've bowed carefully. Many heroes rose to challenge this day. Many we've lost. And many others that remain to remember them. Let us vow to never forget those who gave everything so that we could still stand here to remember. You, Vox Machina, stand as that beacon of hope upon which we all held. You may not fully understand the scope of what you have done, but I assure you, we do, and we will. We humble the Vasselheim are eternally in your debt, as is much of the ignorant world, perhaps. On behalf of Sipatolin's Reach, I thank you for everything. The rest of the room has begun to gather now. You see other soldiers that were waiting outside as you first approach have begun to filter in. And as you glance back towards the entry hallway of the Platinum Sanctuary, you just see faces. People that greeted you in. People hearing these words resounding in silence, and they all begin to just bow low. This is weird. Should we say something now? Ask for money. Yes. About our fees, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm supremely uncomfortable. You are the leader of your people. Get up I mean, and you say something. You should say something. What? Yeah. You're, a, you're a leader. I'm the leader. No, but I'm not a leader. You've these been people are practicing all these times. Thank and you. And you've been giving us really what? good inspiration. Thank Just get up and yeah. say something. Yeah. Yeah. Just get up and say. Get up and say something. It's not say a bad. something really it's awesome. Not a bad. We'll just tell people it was brilliant. It was yeah. Great. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah. Stop bored. So as you stand here amongst this procession of warriors, people that now look up and don't see Keyleth the Druid, they see the voice of the Tempest, they see one of the, as to probably be remembered, saviors of the city and beyond. All eyes are on you as Hyberia Ford steps away. Still holding your hand. <laughs> The bravery of Vasselheim 
remains evident on this day. And you all should be proud that your reputation of a city unfallen by invasion or attack remains. And that it's only because of the faith and the bravery and the strength of the citizens of this amazing city. We of Vox Machina are proud and honored to have fought by every single one of you. And we vow to continue to stand by your side through the rest of our days. Huzzah! 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 Dan. With a wave of cheers that roar from within these marbled halls that echo and boom and reverberate. To a thousand years of Vasselheim! <laughs> cheers and cries and fists raised and pikes cheering. You see Valora, her hands together. You see, you see Valora pull away from, from uh, Alora's mm -hmm. arm who's come by to help you carry her, and she, yay. <laughs> and and Alora just looks to you with an absolute look of, of respect and, and pride. Even the high bearer kind of seems to be taken by the words. Uh, should everyone in the room get temporary hit points, practically? Um, yeah. But yes, I was but, yeah. Yeah. but at, at this point, the hit points now. the um, the sunglass roof of which currently has been sitting within the shadow of the mountain, uh, the sunlight just begins to peek past and glide its way across the marble floor as everyone's cheering, and the room now, which once was in shadow of the mountain, is now lit up with sunlight. Now you can see the. Glittering armor that peeks through the dirt, the grime, the blood, shining and sparkling on each of you, across Pike's beautiful armor, across all the warriors that stand here, across the scale bearer's design, across your hair. The room is just filled with light. And though you sense the presence of probably Bahamut glancing down, you can't help but think that this is also the approving glance of Pelor. Perhaps a bit of the Everlight. As the cheers begin to fade, the crowd begins to pull away. Conversations progress. Thank yous are given. People come up to you. And eventually, you guys begin to step out of the sanctuary. And there you look down across the upper platform, looking down over the city. You can see the birth heart, the dust meadow, pillars of smoke rising up as the sun now hangs high in the sky. A cold sensation takes you in the chest, Vax. Just a small pain. The second one. And your eyes shoot over across to the Raven's Crest. Damaged, but still standing. You turn around to look at the rest of your family. And as you guys look at his face, in but a flash, you can see this dark shape behind him. This looming black cloak, this lithe dress that cascades down into a bell and drags across the ground. And there you see the form of the Raven Queen, porcelain mask, long dark hair behind, as her hands slowly creep over the shoulders of Axelon. I walk to step in between. In between the two of them? Yes. The, while the lips do not move on this mask, the voice in your head says, you've done well, but do not approach. This is not for you. No. Do you recall what you told me once? No response. Do you continue to walk? 
I do. Make a wisdom saving throw. Percy. A no. Uh, no, that's a, actually, you know what, hey, that's right. I took a, I'm gonna Freddy. resolve that. Freddy. This is not about you. Uh, that's a 19, 20, 20, 22. That does not do it. Damn it, that was a 19. You're my own. The muscles lock into place and you find yourself <laughs> held there on your third step. The voice, which is omnipresent in your mind, all about, continues. Soothing, cold, distant, but still soothing. The mask slowly looks down towards him. You have done well, my champion. The skein of destiny has tugged in your wake. And even this victory culminates with the crossing of a few fate-touched souls. By your hand, your bravery, your sacrifice, you ensure a future for all you love and all who will come to love you and what you've done. You may never know the import of your time here, but take solace in the knowledge that you will see the ripples of your actions carry hope for generations to come. My Vaxeldan, it is time. No. Say your goodbyes, then come join my side. And the hands pull away. And she stands there. Now? We don't even get a, just a night together or anything? It's not fair. You've got like a really long time to be alive. You've got an infinite time. He's What's a few more years? He sacrificed himself in your name. You remain the only ascended. And yet he still loses. Does not lose. The gifts I gave, indeed all of your patrons gave, were so that you, and you watch as her hands extend almost impossibly long around her, and everyone here still stands. I understand selfishness. I understand the impulse of mortality. But I would hope that you understand that the actions that you've allowed Vaxeldan in this sacrifice are far larger. But we made a deal. With power comes a price. Ready. Are you ready for you people? Not without you. I am so very proud of you. And so grateful for everything you gave to me. You are going to be a strong leader and a wise leader. I'll find you. I promise I'll see you again. I'll never be that far away. brothers.
love you too. Thank you for everything. If you want us to fight her, just say Jenga. <laughs> and we will. Maybe from the other side. Someday, just for shits and giggles. Can I ask? Are you afraid? I'm going to go visit my mother. And I'll see all of you again. Freddy. I do not accept this. I know. But I charge you to take good care of my sister and love her. And your friend, Keela, love her as well. She will need it. She will need friends. Of course. Thank you for trying. I wish I could have done more. Pickle. Pickle, you showed me the way. And I know it doesn't look like that right now, but you absolutely did. <laughs> you taught me purpose, Pickle. Purpose. And I know I will see you again. Isn't there... Is there something we can do? It's kind of hard to hear. Be there for them. You be there for them. You're the light in all our lives. never had a greater friend than you. When we traveled a lot, I never had a greater friend than you. I don't feel like she's taking part of me away. I will bring it with me to remind me of you. I don't know how to live. I will see you again. I know. I will see you again. And I will tell your mother that you say hello. Please. I love you. I don't accept this. I, I know that it's hard. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to find you. Take Keyleth's face in my hands and happily take one more kiss. <laughs> I'm sorry it's so cold. I don't care. <laughs> I don't accept this. <laughs> I 
I love you. I will never stop loving you. This isn't fair. I know. I guess we have to say goodbye. Sorry. <laughs> Since I leveled up, I use the druid cantrip, druid craft, and grow snowdrops out from where I stand out to all of my family, out to where they stand. <coughs> Shit. <laughs> Thank you. How lucky I have been to have had all of you. How lucky indeed. Thank you. As he turns and walks towards the darkened cloak of his matron. In the darkness of her cloak, you see a brief light, but it's brighter for you. As you walk forward, you see reaching from the light, the dark hair, the fair skin, and the wide smile of your mother, Elena. As she greets you, she says, I'm so proud. The rest of you watch as her cloak begins to fade like a slowly scattered shadow in creeping sunlight. And as the snowdrop flowers continue with each step, you blink. We're going to take a break. We'll be back here in a few minutes, guys. There's still more of this story to tell. See you guys in a bit. I'm Jason Charles Miller. I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons since I was 10 years old, and I want to share with you the joy that this game has brought me. I'm going to show you the basics of how to play this amazing game. We're going to play Dungeons and Dragons today. This is exciting. This is a deep four, four-sided, six-sided, eight-sided, 10-sided, 12-sided, and 20-sided. Love it, so the, your first roll is a 16. I really like those two. And uh, 14. Another another good one. Angela! Hey! hey. Right, let's roll some dice. Nice. Nice. Add one to all of those. Oh. Hey, hey, Mike! So you've only played one other time, right? Yeah. So you're you're I've... one of my newbies. I wanted to do the funnest part, for me anyway, which is rolling for your stats. You can never have too many D6s. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe you maybe you stink or maybe, you know. Mixie! So we're gonna play D&D &D today. Yeah. 
One of the most fun things about creating a character is rolling for your stat. I just yeah. want to be a little evil. So thanks for joining us on this little adventure today. Absolutely. What I love to do is I love to have people roll for their stats. Should have brought my loaded dice. Trin Hilltopple. Deborah. Lampara. Boomblood. Spal Hearts. All five of you met on the steps of the Adventurer's Guild. All right, you're ready to roll. Hey, Critters. As always, thanks for supporting our shows. It's time for this week's Wormwood giveaway. All you need to be eligible is to be active in the Twitch chat and type the code word I'm about to give you, but only type it once or you will be disqualified. This week's gift from our friends at Wormwood is this Gabon Ebony Complete Dice Tower System. And the code word to win this beautiful wood is wish. Remember, only type it once. Good luck. Congrats to the winner. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on Tuesday. Hey, Trish, where are you? I am. I'm at the Orc. Ah! What do you mean you can't make it? What do you mean we talked about this? What do you mean you sent an understudy? What do you mean it's Darren DePaul? What do you mean he's standing right next to me? Hey, Trisha Founder, I'm standing right next to you. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a great day. I have so many things planned for. Just, I mean, <laughs> okay, I gotta go, Trish. I gotta go. 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 Okay, hi. Darren! I'm so sorry. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome to one of my favorite places on the earth. This is Blizzard. And I share it with you because I am the mayor of Blizzard. The mayor of Blizzard. Come with me and you will be in a world of pure imagination and orcs and goblins and trolls and overwatchers. There's a Starbucks. There's just pure joy here. A and I want to share it with Starbucks? you. Starbucks? This is fun. Mayor of Blizzard. Mayor of Blizzard. Mayor Who of is the mayor? Ma I'm the mayor, mayor of, of Blizzard. Blizzard. Where Darren am I the Dibble. mayor of Blizzard? Mayor of Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Hello. Mayor of Blizzard. Hi, Hi, Mayor of Blizzard. It's good to see you guys. Um, I'm Lindsay. I work with the Hearthstone team. Are you oh, take great, us on the great. tour? No, 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 no. She's going to because I'm also the voice of the Grim Patron in Hearthstone. Everyone, get in here! It's not a bad Grim Patron. Thanks. It's pretty, it's pretty good. But actually, Ouch. what I wanted to tell you guys yeah. is this is an employee-only area, so I have to ask you to leave. I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. We at Geek and Sundry respect the wishes of Blizzard Entertainment and we would never do anything to jeopardize our spot here. Run, Darren! I'm the mayor! Oh, knock away, because behind this door there be monsters. This is Heroes of the Storm. Ooh. Is this the Heroes of the Storm team? Yeah. Can we come in? No, but we've got Darren DePaul. Hi, I'm the voice of Anubarak in Heroes of the Storm for the Frozen Throne. And the mayor of Blizzard. Is that a roll? Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, okay. She's going to get a proper welcoming committee. Oh my God. Befitting Anubarak. <laughs> oh yeah, you are gonna get such a thrill. Oh, hey. Excuse me. Of course. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Thank I you. And not wait. Awesome. Here we go. Awesome. That's from the game. It's a thing in the game. You oh. should not. Never fear, my pal. This is StarCraft. I'm a Protoss. They welcome you with open arms. And closed doors. Yeah. Here we are. Welcome to the Hall of Three Statues. All of these statues designed and built by me.
The mayor of Blizzard. You're catching on, my pal. Oh, look at this one. One of my favorite works. Oh my god. It's goodness. Angry Pete. Don't touch, don't touch. But you could reach out and touch him. He's that oh, real, yeah. but you can't. You can't reach out and touch him because oh. those are the rules. But just admire it. Admire the texture that went yeah, into this work. Texture. But no, no, no. How do we enjoy things? With our heart or with our hands? Oh, with heart, our heart. Our with heart, our heart. With hands behind your back. Okay. Hands behind your back. Enjoy. Don't lick it. Don't lick it. Get my frame, get my picture, 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 get the frame, get the 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 picture. Hey, all right, I can't get her face though. It's Tracer, get it long ways. She's tall. It's not a good, this is not a good We need someone to take this picture. This is not working. We need someone to take this picture. Oh, intern, intern. Come take her picture. Come take her picture. Not Mender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Mender. Do you know how to use one of these? I, I think so. Okay, okay, make it good. Yay! Oh my God! Yay! It's wonderful. It's perfect. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank that's you. That's just a picture of you. Come it's on, a good man. picture. You don't know how to use oh, a camera. Okay, sorry. Come on. Yay! Yes, come just on. Smile. Yay! Yay! Oh, oh, watch. Just uh, uh, oh, you're making a weird face in this one. Okay. Can you take another one? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm about to go play with the new Winston skin, but good luck to you guys, okay? Oh. Don't worry, my friend. I am your shield. <laughs> That's a pretty good Reinhardt. Yep, yep it is. What a nice kid. Terrible photographer. Get ready, because you are about to enter the Overwatch Museum and Theater. Hey, this is a wacky thought. Want to go in and point at stuff? Yes. Yes, I do. And so you shall. Watch Darren and Amy have to do a morning show, Mondays at 8 a.m. on Alpha. Do you hear that? That is the sound of a wild foley. Ooh. And we are about to tame said wild foley. Ah. Inside! Yeah! Ah. Pedro, hi, it's Darren. We worked on Heroes of the Storm together, remember? Yeah, hey, hey. Hi, we're totally supposed to be here, by the way. Mayor uh, Blizzard. G -g 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 -g. Make some noises. Show oh, okay. us your magic. Ah, okay. Chris, that's amazing. Hey, hey, you guys can't be in here. Mayor Blizzard. Mr. Mayor, please, come on, this way. Oh, of course. Let's go. We must depart, my friends. Play us out. You got it. Oh, it's like my days back on Broadway that I never did. But you don't know that, so I fooled you. <laughs> Ian, Ian, hey. I'm so glad to see you. We've been turned down everywhere. Darren DePaul, War Chief Blackhand, oh. in WoW, for the Horde! Awesome, love the character, love it. So Thank I see you. you here. Hey, can we get a peek behind the door? Say a little of Blizzard magic. Those doors? Oh yeah. The one that says stop, no visitors? Yeah. Ah, sorry, that's not happening. No, 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 I'm the mayor. Maybe he's the mayor of Blizzard. I don't think we have one of those. Surprise you do. Ah? Uh? No, sorry, not buying it. If you want to see what's through these doors, yes. you're going to have to wait a month till BlizzCon. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. This is Diablo. There's a secret knock. It's been so hard, you know me. I'm Darren DePaul. I'm not a voice in Diablo. Yet. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys are two weeks too early. Yeah, but as my dad used to say, better a person early than someone not early. Get her! I don't think so. Sorry. 
You're gonna have to come back in two weeks. Okay, I... jeez. Girl, you've been lifting! Yeah, I know, right? So. Later, guys. But no, but no, but... See, I don't try it again! Never works twice. Right this way, my pal. Always something exciting in store. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna catch up with you. Don't care! I cannot leave, my friend. The great Everick Evanhall seeks honor and glory. Am I right, my boon companions? Huzzah! Ah! No, we gotta go now. We gotta go now. Ah! Ah, noise, noise, noise! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, ah, we have way overstayed our welcome. There's nobody here except for security. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on the road to BlitzCon 2017. We're out! Ah! I'm the mayor!
I'm Jason. I'm Jason. I'm Jason Charles Miller. I'm, I'm Jason. Welcome back. So before we jump back in, our uh, winner in the chat of the giveaway is Mr. Milgram. Mr. Milgram. Mr. Milgram, congratulations. Mr. Milgram. Congratulations. Mr. Milgram. Mr. Denobo will reach out to you and get your contact information and get your, uh, your prize sent off to you, so well done. All right, so, bringing us back in. No. Something feels different about the table. Yeah. As the, um, <coughs> as the cold wind subsides, and the feathers glide through the wind off the edge of the Silver Talon's reach pinnacle of Platinum Sanctuary. You gather your thoughts. Quiet creeps over. I feel like I could have taken her if I had a gun. I'm just saying. Scanlan, have we ever told you you're an asshole? <laughs> All the time. I use manners on Scanlan. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's the what's the what's the uh, save on that? <gasps> wow. Um, where is it? You gotta sort through all your coffee right stains. <laughs> These are my coffee this stains. Really irritable. Uh. Retired. There we are. Jesus, you have um, so many things. Yes, <laughs> I do. Uh, uh, it's a. Uh, I hug drink it. I just range attack roll with the attack bonus equal to my dex modifier plus my proficiency bonus. So. He looks so it's next to Vex and <laughs> so. plays her head on her shoulder against AC. Against you. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I'm out. Uh, yeah, that's uh. Hmm. Uh, six, twelve, twenty-four. I think. Okay, and what's the? Oh, just hits. And he just hits. Has make, all right, uh, so. You can make you can make a, a strength check against twenty. To try and break out of it as an action, strength? right? <laughs> so, against twenty. So as you finish your statement. Yeah. No. Uh, Percival <laughs> throws an orb at you, and it expands and <laughs> locks you up into this kind of cage of uh, metal bars and claws and and uh, chains, and you're locked in place and able to move. <clears throat> feels right. That feels right. Is that necessary? I'll let him out when I'm feeling like it. Makes sense. I don't have just the strength to argue with him. Sorry, Scotland. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm okay in here. Actually, I'll unlock it so he can say that. <laughs> oh, hi. That was a very touching ceremony. I. Well, I'll just be in here crying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Percy, please let him out. I can't take it right now. I very quickly go through Scanlan's pockets to make sure there's nothing else that I need to take back from him. Make an investigation check. Thank you. 
Nope. Oh my god. I let him out. Madness. <laughs> that might be the last you. natural one of this campaign. You have to uh, scream it from a mountaintop, man. <laughs> oh, the golden oh, smish. How could you do that? Betrayal. It's mine now. <laughs> I a celestial hand reads out of the clouds. <laughs> shit. Oh, hello, next campaign. Oh, shit. One man's trash. You just. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I know it was never made official, but I'm assuming you two would have spent your life together. As much of it as he had, anyway. He taught me how to love, and I have a hard time with interpersonal relationships. <laughs> I would have never known. So I would have, I would have held on to that one for as long as I could have, and I, I still will. I still count you as my sister, as I count you as mine. We're gonna have to look out for each other now. Yes. I'm going to quietly wander outside. You're on the platform. Oh, side, so. I'm going to just break off for a second. Okay. Also, fuck that raven bitch. I mean, she's terrible. What the fuck? You know, we have a temple too in Whitestone. Yeah, we are. Oh. We could just. I mean, here's the thing, though. We, we, I feel like I kind of want to destroy it because I hate it so much, but at the same time, I kind of feel like we should leave it because yeah. maybe we can that talk to him through yeah. it or yeah, something. Yeah. We'll talk about we'll this try later. It. Okay. Uh, Pog. Yeah. While we're here, I feel like if Bahamut is the natural enemy of Tiamat, I don't know if I really want to like, don't know if I want to be bound to this sword for much longer. I feel like my time of hunting Vecna is kind of done. I, I think. Yeah, I feel like if I took. I feel like we have Archon's hand. And maybe if we handed it over to the. the Platinum. Um, these people. Okay. Yeah. Then, like, somebody else could take up that hunt, right? If that's what you want, Grog, I, I, I don't think that's a bad idea. Yeah. Okay. I think I want to turn over this sword, but will you just stay with me? Of course I will. He's very persuasive. Can I, actually, Scanlan, Yes. will you come with me also? Absolutely. All right. Can I make my way back towards somebody official looking? That would be either uh, Skell, as Heist Bearer Vord, or <clears throat> uh, the out of the one you met earlier. Uh, yeah, my bearer orb sounds good. <laughs> okay. As you step back into the Platinum Sanctuary, the voice creeps into your head. I know not what you're thinking, but no. Together we are more powerful than anyone who's wielded me. We could take him down, we could destroy it all. You it, cannot, you will not discard me. Anyone ever? Like stronger than anyone that's ever wielded anyone you? Anyone who's ever wielded me. Together, we could bring down anything that bears his title, anyone who pursues his power. Grog? Yeah? What's he saying? He, uh, he's making a really good point. We're like really strong together and unstoppable, 
You feel this oof in your brain as a flash vision of the hand, once held in your grasp, swollen atop the actual body of Vecna in the battle, and your vision comes back, and that kind of urge in your belly creeps up, and you're like, oh. I mean, hold on, Pike. Maybe we could we could do like a lot of good. Like, we could really rid the world of a lot of bad stuff. Listen, we did that before you knew this sword. Right. We're all strong together. You were strong before it, and you'll be strong after it. Uh, okay. A moment, please. Uh, as you enter the chamber once more, <laughs> the high bear turns around. Yes, uh, Grog Strongjaw, what do you require? I, I would like to make a deposit. <laughs> Go on. I have on my person ah, the soul. This. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> 14. The words don't escape your mouth, and you realize this was a bad idea. I. I. So sorry to waste your time. I wanted to thank you for hosting us. Bidet, and I, I start to turn and walk out. Are you? Not I, I grab him by the hand. <laughs> okay, Pike stops. So he can't go anywhere. Are you not doing this, Grog? <laughs> I think it's a bad idea. <sighs> we can do so much together. We can do so much together. We can destroy anyone who's ever thought to pray to the now undying king sealed away. We could wipe his presence from this planet. Mm, okay, we could do so much. We could try a race aboard the planet. <laughs> Whatever your wishes are, Grog, I'll, I'll go along with it. So really? if, if you wish to keep the sword, that's fine with me. I want to keep it. <sighs> Great. I, I don't, Scanlan, I don't think this is a good idea. I, okay. Sell me on this. <laughs> look, 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 look at him. He's all, he's, 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 this isn't. He's just flexing he's, his he's face muscles. All, he's getting all weird. I want to keep that. <laughs> no, he does this when he needs to go poo. I've seen him do it. I know, he definitely does this when he needs to go poo, but this is so much worse. Well, I mean, it's been a hard day. I think we all just need. Need a good bowel movement. Walking out of the sanctuary. Pike, make a strength no, check. No, no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so roll and add your strength modifier, which I think is four. It's five. Oh, it's five. She's got the gauntlets on. Well, the gauntlets bring it to 19, so it'd be a plus four, I'm pretty oh. sure. Oh, Wait, I think I added a plus one somewhere for some reason. Did you get some okay. boon or boost or something from. It's all good. I don't know. From the. Um, okay, with a plus four at 17. Something. 17, Grog, roll a strength check. Oh, fuck. Roll a one, roll a one! <laughs> 19. Oh, 19, Pike, your boom. feet begin to scrape against the, the marble as Grog's form and strength, which is just a little bit more than you. He's a little more of a monster than your monster right now. Can you I just swing my other hand up and try to pull more? I'll allow you one more strength check with disadvantage. I'm really conflicted here. <laughs> Don't be. I want to help. It seems totally uh, normal to me. 14. Dog rolling a strength check. Oh. Oh. 15. <gasps> Still, your, your metal boots are scraping across the, the marble as you're pulling and trying to hold them back, and he's just <laughs> walking out of the room, the voices. Yes, together, the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> we can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Cast it uh, High bear voice. Um, is everything all right? Pike, do you want me to try to stop him? What's going on? I just, I don't think this is, I, I think this is not a good idea. Grob, this is something that you wanted to do. You need to fight it. Can I try and fight it? Uh, you've already lost yeah. at the moment, so yeah, he's currently locked into that mindset. Pike, do you, should I do something or no? 
Well, I, I think we could both do something, but I want Grog to fight this. But... Why don't I help him fight it? Okay. I will cast Suggestion on Grog. Using my last level two spell. <laughs> yeah. And suggest that he think long and hard about maybe fighting back against this sword. Okay. Try one more time. If it doesn't work, I have an idea. All right. Uh, so bringing up suggestion Man, here. Uh, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw, Rob. Eleven. Eleven, okay. As the suggestion creeps through your mind, uh, you, the familiar voice of Scanlan through your ears gives you just enough moment of pause to allow you an additional saving throw against okay. the influence. Maybe, maybe I, I change my mind. Oh no. Is it a wisdom saving throw? Yes it is. That's a five. <laughs> My god, we're safe. <laughs> the, the suggestion does not seem to take hold, and he's now dragged Pike almost back to the entryway of the Platinum Sanctuary, and Skell, uh, the High Bear, is still looking a bit confused. He's made his choice. No. Oh! Grog, Whoa. look at. Stop, just one moment. Okay, I'll stop. And I look him in the eyes. Mm -hmm. I cast Greater Restoration. Oh, you have that. Still okay. have a, a slot left. Will that work? Uh, I would like you to go ahead and make a Wisdom check. This is contested against the Wisdom of the Sword. Ooh. I'm casting it at seventh level. Oh, wow. And you're casting it against the Wisdom of left. the Sword? Uh, I'll, you know what? So the, that... I, it's not going to have much of an effect on this, really, unfortunately, but the spell is cast. Okay. So just go ahead and roll a d20 and add your Wisdom modifier. Oh. You're smarter than a sword. You're smarter than a sword. Do I get an advantage? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no in this circumstance. Ah. Just roll a d20 and add your wisdom modifier, which I believe is a five. Uh, I have. Yeah, you're okay, one. okay, that's you're, cool. you, you're wise as yeah, fuck. it's five. So, nine. Oh! oh. oh. Wow. Well, uh, <laughs> you <I'm> die. <laughs> yeah, you actually die. No, that's not worth it. It's fine. Vax comes back and kills you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I rolled a seven, <gasps> and he has a wisdom modifier of plus one. <gasps> oh, oh my shit! God. <gasps> oh he my does. god, you did it! Like I, le yeah, legitimately. Oh that's pretty what? stupid. <laughs> okay. Did you use my die? That would make me feel. No, I did not use your die. I used my See, my you're, typical you're one. Than I'm a saving sword yours for the next campaign. By one. You're smarter than That's a sword. Done. Okay. You're smarter than a sword. So, as as the strength of wills between the cleric and the sword begin to combat, the warmth of Pike's friendship and the force of Serenray's guidance washes through your body, and the cold steel of the sword begins to warm to the touch. And for a brief minute, it gets, minute gets so warm that it's hot. It burns your fingertips, and you instinctively throw the blade to the ground. <laughs> it clatters and slides about 15 feet from you, kind of spiraling and sparking across the marble before the high bearer's foot <laughs> catches it in place. He leans forward. Now I'm certainly curious. That, that is the sword of Cass. He watches the color begins to somewhat return to Grog's face, his eyes returning to their natural pigment. Oh, God. The sallow, <laughs> sunken features of his body begin to fill out once more, the influence oh. the blade having left his psyche and physicality. Oh, oh you're back to you're back to to light gray again. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> Feeling so pinky. What happened? Is that okay? I, I, you made a decision, and I just felt like it was the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, we kept the sword, right? Yeah, it's it's there, it's there, it's 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 they're there, holding, and they're holding if we... it for you. Oh, 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 okay. 
<laughs> At this point, you can see two of the other scale bear guardians have uh, kind of flanked the sides of the high bear as he removes his foot from the blade and steps back. They both carefully lift it uh, within gauntlet and kind of present it before him, and he glances down. So, you say this blade aided you? Yes. That blade, careful with it. It's very powerful. It is bent on the destruction. One thing and one thing only. Vecna. <laughs> Good to know. We will keep this within our vaults in case the day or time arises. Wait, wait, or I'll show Mouse. Then I'll, I'll show the hand of Archon. Yes? <laughs> it kind of flops limply in your grasp. Oh, oh! The, the person that owned this hand. Okay, stay with me. Chopped this off and took Vecna's hand and stuck it on, and then this got left over. So this is not his hand anymore, and the one that he does have is Vecna's. So, if you like, use your noodle, you can use this to maybe like, trace him. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are limitations to the use of such an it requires magic. object. Uh, it may be of some aid to us, but the knowledge of this individual is far more important. However, we will accept this thing, and he kind of ushers his hand forward, and another servant comes forward and retrieves the hand from you and kind of takes and folds the fingers up and places it within a <laughs> small pillow and backs away. I think that was a great idea. Yeah, right, it was pretty small. Yes, what was, it was very smart. What was the name of this? This current wielder of the Hand of Vecna. Arkin. Arkin? Archon. 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 Archon the fool, the cruel, the... Misguided. Mm. <laughs> Archon the misguided. Don't <laughs> underestimate him. He's really buff and, luck. devious. And, and he's got another hand that he could chop off, too. One in reserve. <laughs> Very well. So, we will begin to do research and seek out this Archon, the cruel, the... Cool? Yeah, I he was know. pretty cool. I didn't catch it. He was cool. I was fighting a god, I didn't really catch his name. Hmm. But see, don't hurt him, you know, because we, he actually helped us defeat Vecna. He just pulled like a Trixie Doodle at the end and took the hand. I would... Do whatever it takes to not trust an individual who would steal such an artifact for their own means. Yeah, sure. We'll find this individual. Rest assured. The will of Bahamut turned on him now. I doubt he'll find a place to hide. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, beep, beep. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, sh shall we away? We shall away. Yes. Scanlan, shall we away? Away we shall. Away we. We we. We we. We The day. The day. The day. As you exit the sanctuary, you meet up with the rest of your friends that are still taking their quiet moments of reflection on the exterior platform on the outside of the sanctuary overlooking the eastern side of Vasselheim. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel like pursuing Vecna was something that we all did together, and I feel like whatever we do now is new. And I felt like I was going to have to do that on my own, and I don't want to do that. Well, you wouldn't have to do anything on your own. That's good to know. Yeah. We're in this together. I've got a thing, actually, I've got to get to. A lot of appointments. Can I walk over to Percy? I used to buy a uh, Yeah, I'll just, I'll take care of something. I'm sitting in the corner and I'm staring uh, into the reflection of my sword. Uh, and I am gently tapping the contract in my, in my pocket. Can I? And I'm just going to say, <gasps> dude, dude, Ibkish. Can I sit? No, 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 I'm gonna sit down next to you. You're too late, sit. you've been doing a thing. Could you bring him back? Mm. 
would it, the thing that you gave me, bring him back? There's no answer. Hmm. Nothing at all. All right. Now can I sit down yes. next to you? How are you? I have no idea. I, uh... I think I really miss my family. Like, I think I, I think I miss my sisters and, uh, my parents and, uh... <sighs> I think I was going to be a clockmaker once. I, I haven't thought about that. There was a moment. Do you remember when we met? I do. I, for a brief time, thought that I had died in that prison and I was just having a fever dream from starvation and uh, this was what death felt like, was just my mind making stories of friends and adventures and the things that I would never do because I was a coward and a fool and and I miss my family so much and I've done I've done some terrible things I gave Grog that sword you did I it didn't feel real no, it does. I don't know. This is a new. I'm sorry. What were you going to do? <laughs> were you going to fight the Raven Queen for me? Many years ago. I went to make a deal with her. And she told me that I was broken, and that I had always been broken. And part of me was going to save your brother, and but really, I just wanted to prove it to her. I wanted to hurt her for hurting me. I think we're all broken, Percy. I am so tired of hurting people. You don't have to hurt anyone anymore. <sighs> I love you very much. I love you. This has been a terrible day. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh. Where's Kiki? And oh, where's Scanlon? I think I owe him an apology. Oh God, I owe Grog an apology. Maybe I'll not apologize to Grog. That sounds that seems like a really terrible idea. Oh. Darling. Yes. You're a good person. And you're not broken anymore. All right. We'll fill in each other's gaps. We'll be the glue. Thank you. <sighs> and don't do anything crazy anymore. <laughs> no, no deals with Raven Queens, all right? Let's not fight any more gods. Let's just, I was gonna say, let's destroy the one in white, so maybe we just seal it up. Let's just leave it because, you know, but. I kind of want to see if I can talk to him through it. Is that stupid? How would I know? <laughs> <laughs> Seems worth a shot. Right. I'm too tired to be angry. <sighs> we did a thing today. A pretty big thing. Was that today? Legitimately feels like a week ago at this oh, point. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's been a long, it's been a long day. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll rejoin. <clears throat> All right. Sorry about manners. That was rude. Are you apologizing for something? Yes. <laughs> That's stupid. I know. <laughs> 
I never said sorry for leaving. Yeah, but you're you. You don't have to apologize, we just assume. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I left. I will not accept it so that when you come to your senses later, you don't feel like you've compromised. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> It's fair. It's fair. You handing out apologies? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry about the skull. Oh. Oh, you. I'm pretty sure you just handed out an apology after you just said you weren't going to hand out an apology. I'm. I'm a human. I'm made of contradictions. You people wouldn't understand. I, I think Percy is a walking contradiction. I will consider accepting your apology if you tell me whatever happened to it. <gasps> oh my God! I legitimately don't remember. I thought. Wait. We do. At that point. Two hands drape around the side of Grog's shoulder up top and vex as the long golden braids down the arms of Allura by Soren says, <laughs> My friend Grog, best not to worry about it. <laughs> Wherever it is, it's beyond our grasp now. Oh, oh okay, Allura. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just like sitcom mug? Is that what just did? I just heard the sight of the If we could have freeze framed and roll credits on that to end the campaign, I would have been happy. Allura <laughs> takes her hands back a bit and reaches over and kind of musses up the side of Pike's hair. <sighs> Been through quite a bit together, haven't we? So much. Lot of ups and downs. You were quite an inspiration, Alora. <laughs> I hope you know. You inspired me quite a lot. I'm only doing what anybody else is doing in this world. Make it up as you go along. <laughs> we know a lot about that. Alora. Yes. Is Fasselheim going to be looking for? Members to join the council. Vasselheim? What do you mean? Vasselheim is mostly a uh, no. religious council, oh. if you will. It's. it's okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She knew that. Totally. It's okay. Uh, oh. I could put in a word. No, is no, no, it? No. I didn't consider this no, no, really no, no, your no. type of. No, right. Here. What council? She was asking for somebody else. So <laughs> yeah. She wasn't asking for her. I can't believe actually was. <laughs> oh, oh, actually. Um. It, yeah. I can inquire. I was thinking more Pike, but I don't know. Well, if, if I do recall, you have a temple here, one that you pretty much built. How is that temple right now? That's a very good question. Do you have a scry left, by the way? Pike? Uh, My scry. Wow. Would you, uh, uh, would you like to go see your temple? I would like to go see my temple. Very well. She kind of waves her fingers a bit and casts fly on all of you. Ooh! Oh yes. shit, on do everybody? That? Well, high enough level dinner. you can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Why did you go upside down? Go upside down! That was like the best yeah. looking noise you've ever made, babe. That was a really good looking noise. Oh, no. Yeah. No, 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 right, and <laughs> retracted immediately. Um, yeah, so uh, as, as she was here kind of helping defend, she didn't waste her uh, eighth level slot. So she's able to get you guys all flying for the moment, and you all coast. And as she finishes casting the spell, you could see some of the nearby wardens of the uh, Lightning Sanctuary. Um, I know it's arcane, shut up, it's fine. <laughs> And you all kind of take off the steps and begin to glide down over through the city. And there you can already see like people are coming out of their <laughs> homes. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but eventually you find your way kind of north of the quad roads towards the base of the Heaven Stair Mountain where the temple resides. Uh, the temple looks like it's sustained a little bit of damage. It looks like uh, a portion of the upper floor. It's at this point, it's like a, it's like a three tier tower. Um, kind of Colosseum-esque, but it does taper a bit towards the top. Um, 
The top part has partially fallen in, uh, and it looks like it's seen wear and tear, but it doesn't look like it's been destroyed or anything. Um, as you come up to the temple, you can already see there are kind of refugees of homes that were destroyed from the incursion of the Braving Grounds that are being gathered in. The temple is filled with people. And on the outside, you see uh, Gesaira, the older woman who helped you found the temple and build it. Um, as she approaches, she's now one of the priests of Rebirth and has been working with you for some time and turns and sees your face. You can see her graying hair, which is kind of bunned up very tightly in the back. Um, she has her spectacles and she has the long robes of uh, blue and gold and she sees you. My pike! Hello. She rushes up and gives you a hug. She's much bigger than you being a human, but her, her posture puts her almost on your level. I'm so glad you're safe. Oh, it's so wonderful to see your face. Uh, we've housed who we can. We're a bit of capacity at the moment. Okay. Well, it looks a, a bit better than I thought it would. Uh, we did our best to defend. Is it done? It, it's done. And you see her eyes crack at that moment and tears begin to flow as she smiles. And I knew, I knew you could do it. Well, we we all did. She looks around at the rest of you and kind of pats you on the head for a minute and pulls away and goes, uh, you get to wear the greatest outfits, don't you? <laughs> uh, anything you need, food, uh, we are, have room for a few more. I would suggest that we. There's bars here, right? In Vasselheim, they, they drink, don't they? No magic, no. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think yeah. it's a dry bars city here. after yeah. after a certain time. Is it, is it, yeah. 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 Are you kidding me? Religion and alcohol Religion. go together perfectly. <laughs> That's a time honored tradition. Why don't we just yeah. go find a a tavern somewhere and let these people pick up the pieces and give them their space. Do you need any type of water or anything that we can immediately assist you with? Uh, clean water would be wonderful. Do you have somewhere to put it? Uh, uh, just a moment, and she goes inside a moment and calls out uh, four of the other uh, lower acolytes of Saren Rai's temple, and they all have various buckets and reservoirs of varying. I, I burn as many create water spells as it takes to to fill them up. They bring you inside, actually, where there is the um, there is the the large statue of Saren Rai, where you had your first vision that called you uh, to come find her, and there is a fountain as part of that, and a reservoir in the bottom that has currently been mostly empty, just to facilitate everyone here who needed water or to clean wounds and. Uh, you help fill that, and you very, very quickly manage to get the temple back to an easily sustainable level. Uh, Pike. Yes. I. I could use your assistance. I. I. I don't think I should have this, and I need it to. I need this to be taken away from me before I make. I do something foolish and I hand Pike my contract. I take it. Percy, what is this? This, I thought, was proof that I uh, was in control of myself, but it's just a, it's just a terrible thing waiting to happen. Ashley, I just texted you the contract. <laughs> thank you. How do you have it on like auto? <laughs> do you just have it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I mean, I somewhat know what it is. I don't think it can be destroyed, but maybe it can be put far away. I will keep this I have at the very least very far from you. I have every faith in you. Thank you. I think I'm done with that. Pike, I have a porno book that I really think I shouldn't have anymore. 
Can I just give it to you to I'll take, take away from? Oh, you'll take it. Oh, okay. It's not great. Can you text it to us? Actually, sure. <laughs> yeah. could you could you text me the the book? <laughs> sure, sure. Just uh. <laughs> it's a three J pick, man. What kind is it? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so you guys go off to find a tavern and drink together. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We need to go have some toasts to Vax. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, you said Allura took Valora. Uh, yeah. She well at this point she's probably probably still carrying her with you. Oh, okay. I thought you said Allura took her away. Okay. Yeah, because Allura Allura took her off of you. You know what? No, she's probably being tended to at the Platinum Sanctuary at the moment. Okay. Like seeing okay. to her wounds. Just and... leave her. I feel weird just leaving her. She'll be fine. She's in solid hands. Can you take I'll a just, look for Cassandra? I'll please? just run back and, and, and talk to her. You want, okay. You want me to take a look for Cassandra? Really quick. So you head back into the sanctuary and retrieve her. I'm, I'm going to make sure her wounds are tended because she was pretty busted up. She was. Thankfully, there are a number of uh, uh, clerics and healers available that are, you know, can take a moment away from the wounded from the battle to deal with the little girl. Okay. Uh, when you come come to her, she's still a bit battered and bruised, but she's she's all right. She's all right. Is there anyone who can send me to Singorn? Why doesn't she stay with us for a while? You're asking this of anybody at the, uh, at, the at the temple? Uh, yeah. Do you think we should? We can. I think take a day. I think maybe a little. Time spent in our company, as opposed to your father's company, would not be true. the worst idea, even Maybe in our bad state. a message of sending? Can anyone do that, Pike? Do you have the message of sending? To whom? To my father. Oh. Let her know that his daughter is still alive. I, I don't. Uh, I don't have it with me, but I could. Oh, okay. Alora, you've done it before. Uh, I, yes. Could you send something to my I could. father? I could also bring her there, if you like. No. Valora, would you want to go home right now? And then she's kind of holding on to your neck a bit. She kind of looks at you. Uh, I miss you. I miss you, I'll stay you a too. bit longer. Okay. I think that's a great idea. I think so, too. Alora, will you just, um, would you say that Valora is safe? And um, that I'll be paying a visit very soon to return her. Happily done. And for a moment, she kind of looks just beyond you, her eyes squint. He's away. Thank you. So, to drinks? To drinks. To drinks. Mm -hmm. I don't really drink. After a day like today, mm. I think I need one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Apple juice for you, little one. <laughs> she kind of giggles in your ear. All right. Oh, Bring she, my she sister take, to a bar. She takes a moment. Nearly dead sister. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Laura she takes another moment. Introduced at some point. Yeah. Laura takes a moment and squints her eyes for a second, apparently sending another message, and then nodding. Um, she leads you guys towards the quad roads and. Finds a pub called the Quarry's End, and uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's not too far from uh, Saren Ray's Temple, which is why she chose it. And it looks to be like it was kind of near a quarry that was built into the mountain that uh, either dried up or was closed down for some reason. Uh, and then a tavern was opened, and it's dead. Doesn't mean they're still making money. <laughs> it's super divey. It <laughs> just smells of stained wood and spilled wine, and <laughs> it's musty and perfect. And as you all come in, uh, it's mostly empty, as people are still in the process of trying to figure things out. The few that are in there appear to be wounded soldiers, that as opposed to getting medical help, are in the process of just drinking themselves into a numb state. But you find a table, you sit down. The one of the uh, bar uh, mates comes up to you. Drinking away the fray, are you? I put like twenty gold on the table. Ooh. Oh, we will take the cheapest, worst <laughs> beer you have. 
And a round for everyone in the bar. In the bar. But of course, sir. My pleasure. Takes the coin. All right with that. Yeah. Can I also just start pulling out the remaining eight expensive ass bottles of wine from the bag of holding? <laughs> so I can erase that yeah. finally. Oh. Now's the time. Within moments. <laughs> yeah. Your table is covered in terrible beer. Expensive and but wine. really expensive <laughs> wine. Expensive ass. Yeah. That's what you wrote wow. down expensive too. Expensive ass bottles of wine. You've had to pull two tables together, and you guys are in the process. You're you're a fair bit into your cups, and then uh, the somewhat ajar door on the exterior slams open as the light kind of filters in from the outside, and there you see standing the general half height of an armored halfling, partially bloodied, armor dented to shit. Kima, <laughs> as she kind of walks in, sauntering in with her blade being sheathed in the back of her giant scabbard, her holy avenger. Yeah. I got your message, honey. I'm not going to pass up a drink after a day like this. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. She comes and sits down next to Allura and kind of puts her arm around her real fast. This is new. And points to the drink in front of Allura. Oh. <laughs> Special occasion. We're bad influences. Yeah, desperate times and all that. God, I guess that's why we're friends. <laughs> I see you're working the late shift. Well, you know, when the streets crawling with skeletons, I gotta be there. <laughs> been having a good time, then. Oh, oh, it's been, it's been amazing. <laughs> it's been terrible. It's been terrible. It's been terrible. We it's front loaded amazing. our hours. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have another cup? Yeah. <laughs> Before maid comes by, gets another cup, and you guys all. To drink and swap stories. That thing that I, I was bugging you about. Hmm? Which one you bug me about a lot of things. Well, that's fair. Cassandra. Mm. All right. Now Sorry. that I have a bit of alcohol in me. Yeah, and you ask me after I have a bit of alcohol in me, and I scry on Cassandra. Okay. Oh, God, he flipped a page. You hate that. Take a long. Deep sip of your drink, and then close your eyes as you complete the scrying ritual. You've kind of half scrawled on the dark wood wall on the side of the tavern. Um, your vision goes cloudy, and you feel yourself being transitioned rapidly through wind and cloud as the temperature of your atmosphere begins to drop. And there, you begin to break cloud cover to look down upon Whitestone. Your vision jumps once more to the exterior of the castle, it jumps once more, and there you see lying in bed, covers pulled up to her chest with at least three different uh, servants and one medical uh, uh, personnel there at her side, back open, just tending to her wounds. She's asleep, but she's breathing. <sighs> That'll do. Looks like she's been, did, been tended to like a proper Dorello. Mm. Did you see Kaylee and Gilmore? Did I see Haley and Gilmore? Not in the room, no. She made it back to Whitestone, though one would assume that's yeah. how she got that, there. Uh, she was not doing well. Gilmore was the most able-bodied. I'm assuming he got her there. Yeah. I hope. I'm sure. I'm sure. I have faith. Yeah. I'll scry on the rest of them tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm drunk. Don't get used to it. <laughs> Faithless to the end. Faithless to the end. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Percy. Thank you, Chris. You taught me just the right amount of how to be a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> just enough. We should toast to, to Vaxel Dan, <laughs> our fallen member. At which point, uh, Kima goes, Yeah, where is that asshole anyway? He's really stealthy. Ain't that the truth? All right. And she grabs her cup. Apple juice, apple juice. <laughs> Laura's holding a cup. What do you have, Ashley? <laughs> I have a cup, and it's uh, a bottle of tea. From the it's a vintage cup. This is I don't need to talk about this. <laughs> Go. Glasses raised. And at this point, as you as the glasses are raised, you can hear whispers off to the side. You glance over and you can see one of the nearby tables, which is filled with four bastions who've been drinking in the battle, have now taken notice and seemingly recognize who's at the table across the way, and they're all just staring. And they all kind of grab their glasses and raise them too. 
To Vaxil Don. He was the best of us. The most selfless. The most frequently naked. <laughs> well, the only you second you. <laughs> the most frustrating. The mm. brightest and the darkest. That's true. To Vax. To Vax. To Vax. Mm-hmm. So, what comes next? What does come next? It's hard to think. After a day that feels like a week like today. <laughs> Single and then Whitestone, I would assume. Home for a bit, at least. Yeah. And of course, everybody, everybody is welcome, always. I've got to get back to Zephra. So we have to check on the Grey Skull Keep? In the month? I don't know. Someone should stay there. We kind of left it as like an outpost. I wouldn't yeah. mind going back to Watchstone for a bit. Yeah. I'll also say, I mean, for those of you, especially I know Grog, you, you have your freedoms. And if you wanted to become Lord of Greystone and just have a, a place of your own that you could invite us to as opposed to just wandering. Grayskull? Grayskull. Oof. Too much time then. Oh, uh, I'll Seems or you lonely. can just hang in Seems lonely. lonely. Or you can just stay in. You know. I'll think about it. <laughs> Seems like that has responsibilities. I mean, the Grand Poobah has a lot of responsibilities, I too. I Many do. tours to give. There is an updated tour. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll go to Whitestone and figure it out. That's where Kaylee is, right? Yeah. I, I... Reassume? Potentially. I don't think I can go back to Whitestone with you. Why? Oh, why? You've got to go back to your people. I have to go back to Zephra. Well, I think that we're going to need help getting to Whitestone. Well, and then I think it's going to take at so least a like day a, for you. Taxi, you. taxi driver Ooh. sort of situation. Power to return Bad your people. influences, <laughs> yes. all of you. <laughs> Assholes. We're not getting rid of you quite that easily. All right, one day. If you can bear it. What about and you, Pikey? And then I want to not see your faces for a bit. <laughs> sure, that makes sense. Pikey? Pike. Pikey Poo, Wait, where are you going? Yeah. Well, I, I'd like to come with you guys for a little bit, because frankly, I I don't really want to be alone for a while. I don't think any of us do. Oh, I just pull her into Bigger's hug. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, pa- oh Grog. <laughs> 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 you almost called me your own name. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, I was going to call you Pooba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I wanted to say your real name. <laughs> no. I mean, we can go back to Whitestone whenever. I've still got just a little bit of juice left. You so got enough juice to get us to Whitestone right now? I do. Believe it or fucking not. I don't. <laughs> you gave us the option. What, what? You said, believe it or fucking not, I call no. Oh, you know, it was more of a rhetorical question. It's no. like a trick or treat, or like, Candy. um. And, uh, why do we still try to explain things to him? I haven't learned. Is Kim is like clasping her cup. Learning. Yep. <laughs> Kim is clasping her cup because she's like, I can watch this all day. <laughs> Thank you, folks. He, he learns something new every day. <laughs> How did White Sun look? White Smack stone it looked. It's blurred at a distance. Aside from the specific target of your scrying, you don't get much of a vision, just an idea of the blurry exterior. Should we drunkenly walk to the tree? <laughs> oh, man. Are we transporting tonight? Why don't we just chill for a night? Don't Do you, you want to see your it? daughter? Well, of course, but I'm drunk and bloody. We can drunkenly walk there and take our best, time and enjoy the stars. And we can, oh, oh Scanlan, Scanlan, oh, we can drink? do, oh, no. Scanlan, I'm sorry, I forgot. Scanlan, what can we Scanlan, do? What can we, no. do? we can do like little arcane cantrips. Oh, God. When no one's looking, and kind of like break the rules oh, a little okay. bit okay. of okay. a vassal hive. Okay. Just cantrips, okay. though, just cantrips. You're such a rebel. I know. <laughs> I forgot. Nothing. What? No, you're fine. What? Nothing. You're fine. You're fine. What? 
love you very much. I've lost the love of my life today. You have, and this is I'm this is the time. I'm allowed to be belligerent. You are. Are we throwing caution to the wind? Sure. Well, I, I do have something that might like up the party just a little bit. Okay, what is it? I will reach into the bag of holding and I pull oh, out like a do little. Do you have that sand keg no, shit? No, no. What? What? No. What, what is that? Shit from what do you got? What do you have? Well, so I, I've got this little like deck of cards, and every yeah. time someone pulls from it, oh, great oh shit God. happens. I'm in. <laughs> One, two, Scanlin. No. I've seen this before, haven't I? I think I was with you when you when you got the guy rich. Wasn't uh, I? No, I no, he was alone. alone. He's alone. He's the right. lord of the quad roads I was, now. I was with him when he did one of them. He though. Did something. You're you're semi aware that there's something going on. Make an arcana check. Oh, this could go so badly. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Mm. Something creeping in the back of your mind. Something you've learned. Something you've heard. Really tells you that. This is powerful and chaotic. I'll watch. I'll watch for now. You'll partake. Probably. <laughs> Three. No. Percy. No. I think I've had enough for one for one day. If we're gonna do that, we should go back to Whitestone first. Well, this well. place is already fucked up. Let's get it on. <laughs> Keyless? I am drunk enough to where I'm not going to, going to stop it, or are you against it? But I won't partake, so that's pretty good for me. Why are you so like resistant to gifts and wonder, magic? <laughs> Grog, you've had two weapons speak to you Don't in be like jelly. nothing <laughs> comes without a price. We saw that. We just saw that with the Raven Queen. Power comes at a price. You think that wonderful things are just going to be pulled out of your hands here, and there's going to be no consequences? Pretty much. God, like, haven't we been through enough shit to know that thing's free? What? Fuck it. So, here or Whitestone? Oh, definitely not a Whitestone. All right, Pike, you want one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always worried about the two of you. Well. I mean, I think you should pick a card, and we deal with one as of right now, and then maybe oh, we'll pick it later. Off what we were all having tequila shots and going crazy and taking pictures and writing our name on the bathroom walls, but it seems like everybody's lost their nerve. So I'll put it back in the bag. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> don't you mean oh. you insult our resolve and hold out on us all at the same time? I love it. The night's still young. Oh, okay. Oh, just pick one. <laughs> all right. All right. So, are we? We're, what drunk, are we? we're traveling now. We're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Let's drive a tree. It'll be fun. This is, so, this is good. you all wander outside of the tavern, find your way over to the nearest tree that's functional, and it takes you a little bit because a lot of trees look thicker at a distance when you're drunk than when you approach. Okay, no, this won't work. This no, Skinny. this won't work. That's not, sorry. It's more of a shrub. Mm, sorry. Next one. That one looks good. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. That's <laughs> a young boy. <laughs> As, <laughs> oh yeah. Eventually, you find the tree. That'll work, and uh, which is interesting because you have this combination of people that are that are recognizing you as Vox Machina, as the whispered saviors of the town, as you drunkenly stumble through the city streets, not but hours after the sealing a recently so ascended much. god. <laughs> Strangely, so perfect for you. Um, <laughs> you, uh, as you approach the, the tree that you find that'll work, uh, Kima and Laura, you know, kind of, uh, Laura has her arm over Kima. She's a lightweight. Um, so, uh, I, you go on ahead. We, we need to help here with the, the construction wow. effort. Wow. You gotta get your construction on. A lot, a lot of No, we're to just, do. and then Kima goes like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, that um, so much effort. Ooh. Um, Reinforce some defenses. Uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Travel safe, and thank you. Love you. Okay. 
<laughs> As Kimon drags her hand, Kimon's like, she's drinking far more, but is sober. She she can she can hold the liquor. It's like, all right, thank you guys. And kind of grabs her hand and pulls her off, and they both kind of wave bye. As they kind of step back into the city, you complete your spell, emerging from the exterior of the sun tree, back in white stone. The comfort is here once more. It seems to be just past dusk at this point. See? The sky is dark. When you travel, wait, I don't know. When you travel <laughs> west to east, you gain time. Well, uh, see? Uh, yep. See? Yeah, you called it. No, you called time it. travel. Yeah. Happy hours, like right now. It's and chilly. Whitestone. Just saying. It's uh -huh. head home. home. Okay. So that works. Heading home. <laughs> works. You guys make your way to the castle. Okay. The food is presented. Everyone's happy to see you back. What do you want to do? Now or forever? Oh, we'll get to the forever bit in a minute. <laughs> see? <laughs> Cry myself to sleep. Okay. I want to go see Kaylee, I guess, if she's around. Are we hanging out together or are we breaking off? I'm going to go see her. All right, I'm going to go see Kaylee. Okay. Asking around a bit, it doesn't take much to find Kaylee uh, in your old room oh. in Whitestone, the one where you both left. You first exited from the group for a short time. She's in there, bandaged up. Uh, it looks like she's kind of taking a dagger and throwing it into the wall. And walking over and pulling it back out, sitting back at the table, or back at the bed and throwing it, and bounces off the hilt, hits, just like, fuck. <laughs> Picks it back up and doesn't notice you in the doorway, and she sits back down and looks over. Mm. Huh. Hi. Hi? You with a dagger in your hand is always a little scary. Why does it frighten you? Well. Not anymore. Boom. Ah, jeez. Okay, it frightens me a little. <laughs> she goes and sheathes it on the side and kind of back in bed. You okay? Well, I've had better days. Uh, I'm all right. Good. You're alive? Surprisingly, yes. Yeah. Uh, we won. I figured if you're standing here before me, Mm -hmm. so that's good. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm sorry that I, you know, I had to go do that. I, I had to. I'll be disappointed if you've came back with me. More important things. So what now? Do you want to go back to Ankarel and keep criming? And you watch for a brief second her tough exterior break. And you can see kind of her eyes welling up a little bit. And she kind of just looks at the ground for a minute and looks back up at you. I'm glad you're safe. I'm so happy I got to see you again. I thought for a second that when we said goodbye, it was the last time. I didn't. I think I know you too well at this point. You're too much of a turd to die. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Only good people die. I'd like to go back to Ankrell. I don't, I don't know if this whole meat man thing's for me anymore. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I hear you. It's, I don't know if it's for me either. It was fun. I, uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it felt like we were just kind of killing time a little bit. There's something else that we should do. I don't know what. Yeah. Maybe your thing won't be my thing, but. Let's find someone to pass on the mantle to, eh? That's a good idea. 
I don't think the meat men should be there, but just don't listen. Yeah, that's a great idea. We'll train a, we'll train a replacement and then... Still take a percentage. I mean, we wow. worked this hard. Yeah, sure, right. sure. <laughs> Passive income, of right? Of course. Yes. It's the dream. It's the meat and potatoes of any good business <laughs> venture. I should have thought of that. That's amazing. So that's, that's why the daughter's an upgrade. <laughs> After that, I just, um, I don't know. I hate to admit it, but. Uh, Did you finish school? <laughs> no. Do you want to? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do that then. You Where? go to school. Not really made for a lyceum. <laughs> um. But we can go visit. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect you to recommend school and you. Well, I. Listen, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, and I, I just don't want you to make the same ones. I, um. I love you, and I want to support you in whatever you want to do at this point. My time has come, and I've done my thing, and my thing is done. And now I just want to help you do whatever it is that you want to do. And if that means I can be close to you, then great, but if it, if it doesn't, then I'll just come visit every once in a while. You know, we made quite a bit of money as the meat man. Oh, you thought we did? And it's a good sum to get started if you wanted to would it be enough to pay for a right top-end education so I can gloat over all the other kids that are raised by the various lords and ladies of Imon? Can I be one of them privileged kids? You could have the best education. That's what I want to do. I want to rub it in their face. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Education for spite, I like that. <laughs> that sounds like a short halt endeavor. <laughs> sure, whatever you need. She stands up from the bed and kind of walks over and puts her hand on your shoulder, and kind of a pat, pat. And then just kind of pulls you into a hug, kind of rests her head on your shoulder, doesn't say anything. You won't have to worry about me anymore. I worry about you every day. Thank you. Thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for being enough of a shitbag to bring me into it. I'm so happy. I made, I made so many mistakes, but it turns out some of them weren't mistakes after all. I'm still young and unlearned. Time will tell. <laughs> she pulls you a little tighter and I'll just kind of snuggle and fall asleep in the room at some okay. point. Yeah. She smells the alcohol in your breath and is like, whoa. Ah. Go on out of there. I'm going to. Uh, and she kind of winces as her wound in her shoulder kind of flares up a minute. I'm going to get some fresh air. You go to sleep. Uh, as you, exhaustion hits you, and you end up passing out, kind of on the foot end of the bed. I'm in my room now. Yeah, your old room. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna tuck Laura in to bed. She's asleep by the time you get there. Oh, yeah. the travel, everything is just tucking her out, and so she just I'm tuck her in, put the blanket up. Tiptoe out of the room. I'm gonna find Percy. I'll be in Cassandra's room. Yeah. Um, Percival? Yes. Um, could I talk? 
talk to you for a moment? Of course. Um, I completely understand if you want to stay with Cassandra for the night. Um, would you mind not being very comfortable then? I was thinking of camping in the woods. I think that sounds lovely. And you're always better than comfortable. I had a thought, hmm. actually. Uh, my God, it is hard surviving, isn't it? Um, perhaps, uh, perhaps uh, Keyleth could use a friend right now, and I know that you carry one with you. Trinket. Just for a bit, I think she, maybe she should. She could use a companion who's not going to apologize or give too much sympathy. <laughs> of course. I send Trinket to Keyleth's room. As Trinket sends the stairs, looks back over the shoulder. Mm -hmm. She's. She might. Cry a lot on you, all right, dear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes up the stairs. It's going to be a lot harder to stay warm out in the woods now. We'll figure something out. I grew up here. I'm used to it. I kind of wanted to um, remember how I used to camp with bags when we were kids. I'd like to see that. I guess we go out uh, and set up a little <coughs> fire and... Yeah, just make and your way camp. into the woods and set up a camp for the evening to rest together. Keyleth, you in your room? The door kind of... <laughs> and Trinket comes in. <laughs> And then just stares right at you. <laughs> and just licks up the side of your face. Your hair kind of <laughs> sticks up for a minute. Nobody! Oh, <laughs> just kind of leans in and <laughs> plops down on the ground like a giant beanbag mound of bear fur. I just cover Trinket in snot and, <laughs> and tears <laughs> as I sob in his belly. <laughs> First night alone, but with trinket. Best teddy bear ever. Right. Best teddy bear ever. Grog? Aware of the gesture, I just cry. <laughs> Eventually the exhaustion, the alcohol hits you and you end up falling asleep, cuddled up in the warm Draw. embrace of a very fantastic, recently meteor struck bear. <laughs> just drool and eyeliner <laughs> and dirt. Just, <laughs> You were Voice wearing, of the Tempest. Voice of the Tempest. You were wearing eyeliner to our fight? Yeah. Well. If it's more like, you know, it was that, that remember I charcoal war painted? Oh, okay. okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, uh, we'll fight it. Has everybody gone off? Yeah. I'll wander out. Well, Pike actually would still be around. I mean, I make my way sneakily outside. Okay, Pike, what are you doing? Um. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's a couple things. Okay. So. There's a lovely tea rose garden in the back. <laughs> she's, she's letting Grog go first. Okay. Oh, really? If you wanted to go somewhere, sneak away. Oh, or, you know, I was just gonna, um. Who wants to go first? <gasps> yeah. Pike. Is this it? You go. Grog, who's going first? Um, well, just for, a, a little bit for about an hour. I wanted to go into not deep into the woods where, you know, Percy and mm -hmm. Vex are, but just somewhere that's very pretty for just a moment for about an hour. Okay. And then I'll make my way back. Okay. Um, as you're out there on your own, just contemplating quietly, ruminating on the day, a faint howl finds the air. And stepping from the shadows, you see a large gray wolf, Galdrick, 
the wolf that once belonged to the previous champion of the Raven Queen, Ravon, who was given charge over the force on the outside, kind of saunters up to you. His size compared to yours. He is a large wolf, you are a tiny gnome, and he just kind of steps up. Sits next to you. There's a little break in the trees where you can see the moon breaking through some of the passing clouds over Whitestone. The night itself cold, you can see your breath in the dark air just through the beams of moonlight that make it through the canopy. And as the wolf kind of looks down at you, it's kind of intense eyes making a full scan of what you are. There's a recognition to his expression before the wolf looks back up. And just gives a long, baleful howl. Seemingly in remembrance and acknowledging that one of a familiar path to his has found his way back to the realm of the Raven Queen as well. You are a beautiful creature. This might be strange, but I give him a hug. <laughs> <laughs> you hug Galdrick, who you just kind of come into the fur, and it's it's not you used to shrink it. It's pretty well manicured, Galdrick. Not so much. Uh, there are clusters of fur that are a bit dirty and crusted, and uh, probably. I mean, it's not like it's not like like a like a full ruined beast, but like you know, he lives in the forest, so it's you know, smell, smells of earth, dust, and and, and nature. Um, doesn't seem to react to your hug, but allows it. I, I I sit next to him. Okay, he just seems to share the space with you for the time you're in the forest. Not a strong connection, but an acknowledgement. Mainly focusing on the moon before it passes through the canopy and is no longer visible. Uh, I came out here to build a little something, so I'm glad to have you out here for just a little bit. Thank you for staying with me. The one ear on the side kind of perks open to listen to your statement, but the vision doesn't meet you. It's still kind of focused in the moon space as it fades. But you get the essence that it, the wolf acknowledges you. I feel like Grog would be so happy right now to be around a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a scratch behind his ear. He actually seems to enjoy it and gives into it. And one of the kind of the giant hind legs of the wolf kind of. Oh, that's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I give out a little howl. <laughs> Howls along with you. That was for my friend Vax. The wolf gets up, kind of circles you once, and then makes his way into the darkness of the forest once more. Goodbye. Um, after a bit, I head back. Okay. Grog. Uh, I wander outside. Okay. Well, I'm by myself. Do I see anyone? Make a perception check. Like it matters. Oh, uh, seventeen. Glancing about, I mean, there are some of the uh, the pale guard around. Nobody seems nobody that you would be looking for necessarily. You seem to be open to do as you please. Yeah. Where he's in going the to the back. Where he's going Oh my god, a grog. Wait, as I'm walking back, do I see him at all? Picture of women? <laughs> Just out in front of the castle, like in the courtyard area. Yeah, courtyard's yeah. good. It's nighttime, right? Make a perception check, Pike. Oh, okay. Might be good. 
roll a natural 20. I rolled a natural 20. No! <laughs> no. I oh, look at that. Oh. I rolled a bunch of hit dice from our short I'm rest. sending you guys a picture. Uh, so yeah. As you're <laughs> as you're quietly climbing up the walkway to the base of of Castle Whitestone, and he's out in the open. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you do. Right. You look up and directly see Grog. Pull a card from the deck. <laughs> I just stand and watch for a moment. Oh, here's the deck. Oh my god! Yeah, it is really happening. I I'm so proud. I fucking believe. End of campaign. Travis, pull good. Travis, pull good. Oh, that one. Yes. Amazing. Okay. Oh, Hold please on. don't bring pit beans on her head. So, oh my <laughs> negative so, two to everything. Uh, okay. Hold on, deck of many things. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I'm All so right, proud. so I'm Grog, so proud. what'd you pull? This is a world-ending thing. Oh shit! <laughs> What's that? Boy. Oh, Boy. Oh, no. no, that can't be good. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> That's like the worst one you could get. Is it? The crew's laughing. <laughs> Why is the crew bad. laughing? Why is Something's the crew very laughing? Bad. I'm pretty sure. That is so bad. Did you bad. Just fuck everything up? You oh know. my god! Oh. <laughs> Wait, Pike saw him. Pike? Pike saw it. She did see him. Pike. Did you get a reaction. Our internet. Pike. Wait. Oh no. Our internet. Oh, no. Our internet. Oh. I'm going to read you the card. Oh my I think God. I know this card. Oh this my. black card spells disaster. Oh. Your soul is drawn from your body and contained in an object in a place of the DM's choice. One or more powerful beings guard the place. While your soul is trapped in this way, your body is incapacitated. A wish spell can't restore your soul, but the spell reveals the location of the object that holds it. You draw no more cards. Wait, just read it again. <laughs> read it again. I'll tell you. <laughs> My soul is drawn from my body. Uh -huh. My body is incapacitated. It is placed within an object that the DM chooses. A wish spell will tell you the location of the object, but will not reverse the action. Oh my god. It, can anything reverse it? Finding it and retrieving the object, yeah. and then restoring the soul. You're a you fucking dick. You dick. You're a fucking dick. Well, the campaign goes oh. on for another. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you just fucking did that. All right. So Wait, she rolled. Okay, Ashley. She rolled something. Oh, that was her twenty oh. from before. Oh, oh, Looks like okay. we may have her back. Hopefully, because this please, is going to be. Please, please. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm back. Fucking. <laughs> it's oh. Bad. My God, Travis! Why would you do that? Give me the card. You rot. Let this be a lesson to everybody out there. <laughs> My God! Oh All right. God. So, in the in the meantime, you're going to bring many things into the game, uh, and then you did. I did. <laughs> did. No regrets. No regrets. Hashtag no, no regrets. regrets. No, no regrets. No regrets at regrets. all. No regrets. All right, so. Oh, God. oh my God. All right, so. I can't even. Is she actually texting? Uh, she's she's texting, texting with her. She's but just yelling, just obscenities. Just, her internet she's just died. Charmong, no. the internet hair Worst gone. fucking T-Mong. T-Mong. <laughs> Worst fucking T-Mong. It's just, it's just obscenities. That's okay now. <laughs> That's all it is. So, Grog, what? as you draw the card from the deck, uh -huh. your vision just goes tunnel, dark. To a pinpoint, a singular pinpoint of deep ruby red. And that's all. Deep ruby red. Your consciousness falls into a catatonic state. Does she get a reaction or anything? Does she get? No. Does she doesn't get shit. She just watches. She saw. She, sees it she, she sees saw. It happen. With her twenty, she saw. I know. Like She's just, aware. She can't yell. She can't cast something. Uh, no, because he pulled the card. Like it wasn't like it's not something that you can. It's a big. Uh, it's a. Foot. All right. Cool. <laughs> All righty. So. <laughs> I guess we'll add that to our to-do list. I'd like to think that in the next campaign we're gonna find you in a glass coffin, like Sleeping Fucking Beauty. Dude. Yeah. Well. 
My body's still I there. I can't believe yeah. She rolled a 17, but so, I don't know what so she So Rob's body is still there, he's just... He's just catatonic until the souls return. She's catatonic. To be fair, you guys, you've sealed Vecna. At level 19 and 20, this is, this is not going to be an earth-shattering experience. Sure, it's just an annoyance. And for the, sake of, for the sake of the epilogue evening, you guys all planning to return <laughs> to your various lives oh and relax. My I'm like they're catatonic with an open deck of cards <laughs> in my hand like this. Dingus! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it! Somebody's gonna find me. To Grog! <laughs> he was the dumbest of us all. <laughs> he was the dumb and the dumb. May he rest in his bed sores for all eternity. You spend the next two weeks finding your way through the halls of pandemonium. I can't fucking believe that shit. The halls of pan. Wait, we spend two the weeks. The halls of pandemonium? Yes, where his soul. Is currently oh encapsulated. My God. What is that? Asshole. In what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the halls of pandemonium? I should oh, be mourning party. right now. Well, this is good. This I'm is haunting your stupid ass now. I'm, 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 I'm giving you yeah, occupied. I'm giving you something to do. Is, I really yeah. did this if you were for you. Sitting on your body. Pandemonium is a plane of madness. Oh my a great God. mass of rock riddled with tunnels carved by howling winds. It is cold, noisy, and dark with no natural light. Wind quickly extinguishes non-magical open flames such as torches and campfires. It also makes conversation possible only by yelling, and even then only at a maximum distance of 10 feet. Most of the plane's inhabitants are creatures that are, were banished to the plane with no hope of escape, and many of them have been driven mad by the incessant winds or forced to take shelter in places where the wind die down until they sound like distant cries of torment. So yeah, it's a fun time. It's a fun adventure you guys go on to retrieve Grog's soul. Great. Great therapy lesson. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll one shot it later. Actually. Yeah. It's a good healing trip. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good side quest <laughs> yeah. for the future someday. A good a good moment of oh, we're not gonna get a rest. <laughs> um hopefully we'll get Ashley back. But in the meantime, for the purposes of this, um you come back two weeks after extremely angry. <laughs> extremely angry. Grog, as suddenly you're restored, huh. and that, that 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 tiny little bead of light sh fades back, and you're not outside anymore, and you're actually like sitting in kind of a reclined, cushioned uh, couch or chair of some kind in Castle Whitestone, and all of your currently living friends are all around you, looking very angry. Oh, got me a chair. You fucking idiot. What? I cannot believe you did that. Did what? Kayla backhand him with the, <laughs> the most hand that has the most rings on it of power. Okay. <laughs> Do I lose any hit points? Uh, probably not. Probably not. What? What? What happened? You lost card privileges. Yep. Hand them over. Uh, oh, we already took. You've taken. You've yeah, taken the card. Right. No. Jigs wait, up. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you may lose your belt for this, friend. <gasps> yeah, you're lucky we didn't shave your beard. <gasps> yeah. Oh, uh, fucked up. You fucked up hard. <laughs> Percy lost his arm rescuing you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you? No. <laughs> I thought not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, look, I just thought maybe it did fantastic things before. I don't know why it doesn't like me so much. Well, I don't think it was personal. Are you sure? I think it no. was. You I learned think it was a lesson very personal. that did we you? had to pay for. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, Pike. Sorry. Hello. Oh! Hi. I don't even know, man. Ashley, Hi, can you hear us? I, my, my internet crashed at the worst fucking time. Yeah, we, we, got got the car we, can't, and it disappeared. we can't even see you right now. You're just an embodied like silhouette. But on we can a hear you, an and that's fine. Yeah, okay. So, Pike, do you know what happened? Okay, okay, you can hear me. Yeah, I, I texted her the, okay. the, the oh. gist of what happened. Okay, so you disappeared? Grog, Grog's soul was trapped. Somewhere on the plane of pandemonium, and you guys had to take two weeks and battle your way through a terrible, terrible plane filled with wind and madness and creatures that were banished there to never escape. 
eventually battling some terrible beast that was guarding the, the, the gem that contained his soul, returned, and he just now woke up on the couch after restoring his consciousness to his body and has been slapped in the face by Keyleth and told that he lost card privileges. And Percy lost his arm. <laughs> Oh no! Wait, what? <laughs> well, I might have been fibbing about that part. He, okay. he, yeah, it might, he's be okay. a, it might be a cheap it might, I, I might have lost my arm, I might be hiding it behind my back, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, newsflash, pro tip, the cards not may bad. be dangerous. <laughs> yeah. That's good to know. Okay, maybe we just leave it alone then. Oh, she's back. She's yeah. back. She's hey! Back. Hey! Oh my god. Oh my god, that's craziness. <laughs> okay. That's nice. So. Any other things that we need to wrap up for the evening? Sorry, I pull a card from the deck. No! <laughs> I invoke the third Spring. contract. Spring. Spring. Spring, motherfuckers! I'll, I'll draw the card for no, you, no, which, no. whichever one no. smashes white stone. Um, <laughs> Suddenly I lose everything. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, oh my god, if you pull that card. Wouldn't that be amazing? <gasps> Don't you even know. Oh, the one, it, all, everything yeah, he owns cra crumbles to dust. Everything. White all the material white wealth and it would That's why I don't pull cards. Yeah. How fucked would that be? I would that be so fucked. All right. Okay. Okay. Bring, so. It bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Okay. All right. After this unexpected side venture, you all say your goodbyes for the time being. Uh, scatter to the various business you have to. Bye. Is there anything else you are, need to are do? We are we leaving? Is there, unless there's anything else this evening you need to, just, to, to situate, I was going to go ahead and begin to facilitate the uh, the epilogue. What do you want to do? Well, uh, can I can I grab Keyleth and, and Vex real quick? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Girl power. Um, take them to the little spot where I was in the woods two weeks ago. Yep. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so, hey, uh, I put something together. I. I. It's kind of dumb, but I made a, um, you know, like, like a bench of sorts. And I put Vax's name on it. And I, I, I didn't want to make him a headstone just because that seems so final, because maybe he's still around somewhere. He is. And I also have these. And I, I take out two of the feathers that I grabbed. And I thought, you could put this with the feathers in your hair, Vex, and Keyleth, you could do something with this. I think I have the perfect place for this. Thank you. Thank you, Pike. Thank you so much. I'm sure you could make it look a little prettier than it is, but. I think it's perfect. It's absolutely you know? perfect. Where, where are we going to put it? Do you want it out in the woods? Maybe we should just leave it here. I like it. I think you'd like that. I think you would too. Something you have to stumble upon. It's a little <laughs> hidden. Yeah, it's stealthy. <laughs> it's stealthy. <laughs> stealthy memorial. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys stay. I, I just wanted to go do one more. Okay. okay. All right. Um, I walk over to where Scanlan is. Okay. Are we two weeks ago, or are we after? No, we this, is two, <laughs> this is after yes, after the, the random, oh. unexpected pandemonium trip. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I just grab on the trip, or was it was? Well, no, there we just all went. you guys had to go like, there to find his soul. Was the reason for the season? <laughs> to be fair, nothing really happened in my mind. That's <laughs> true. Um, hey, Scanlan. Boy, Pike. How are you doing? 
Uh, now that Percy's arm is healed, I'm fine. <laughs> That was bad, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that bugbear came out of nowhere. <laughs> the the the, the bugbear you said? <laughs> don't don't worry about it. I'm fine. I'm fine. Our guy forgot about that. Yeah. Already. Um, listen, I'm 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 glad you're alive. Me too. Thanks for saving us all in that big fight. Thank you for saving us all. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot to say. I just, I care for you a lot. And I just wanted to let you know that. I care for you, Pike. I, um, I've, oh, I've always loved you since the moment I met you. And I'm so happy that we became friends as well. And thank you for everything. Um, thank you for putting up with me when I was a shit. And I hope that uh, I've become more tolerable for you. And uh, you know, after all, all that we've been through, I was wondering if I could ask you a question. I have a, a proposal for you, if you don't okay. mind. Well, now that everything's sort of safe again and back to normal, I was wondering if I could take you on a date. <laughs> Just like to a restaurant or something then maybe if it goes well, we could go on another date. And that's it. Well, I actually was gonna ask you the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> well then, I'll, so let you, yes, I'll let you do. I'll yes. let you do it. No, do you do it? I don't, don't want to. <laughs> I, I take it back. I take it back. I don't ask you on a date. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, the internet! Right, can you oh, hear me, Ashley? Ashley. Oh! oh my God. Denied! Oh. That was amazing. Yeah, that was a yes. That was a yes. That was a yes. That's a yes. That was, that was everything uh, I uh, So. It's 2017, when we have better Skype. That's the most Scanlon thing I could have ever heard for. Remember, hoped for. we're America. We, we have the have worst internet in the world. Internet. Weirdly. Oh God. Um, I know. Net neutrality. Um, so, as you guys gather, say your temporary goodbyes, knowing that you're all still very in touch with each other and very care about each other, you begin to forge whatever a life looks like outside of perpetual danger and the constant onslaught and struggle of terrors and heroic Necessity. Scanlon. Oh. Sorry, I'm having a text romance with Ashley Johnson right now. <laughs> and I'll come back to you. Come back to you. No, 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 I'm ready, okay. I'm ready. I can pull myself away from Pike for a second. What does Scanlon do in the next year? Next five years, next 10 years? <clears throat> What? Uh, oh, I, I don't. I, I'm prepared. Oh, what did you? Boo. God damn. Uh, well, she's not here, so I don't know. But I wrote you down. Me at all? <gasps> oh, God, I love this. <laughs> 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 Sorry, my my internet my internet keeps going out. This it's is okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's genius. genius. It's all that matters. It's all right. So, uh, assuming that you guys went on a date, I'm discussing with Scanlan. His essentially his epilogue. What does he wish to do in the next year, five and ten years? Kind of my idea. my plan, uh, what I wrote down was find Kaylee, make sure she's okay. Help Pike repair Vasselheim or literally whatever she wants to do. 
give all money to Kaylee, <laughs> except for my platinum bracelets with sapphires worth 2,500 gold that I send anonymously to Sybil to make sure she's taken care of. Uh, long term, I would like to use my, my wish slash teleport to uh, check on Kaylee every now and then at school or wherever she ends up. Uh, she ends up at the Alabaster Lyceum in Iman, which is one of the highest places of learning. You have connections to the council, and with the money that you've given her, oh, she lords over many of the children of the various <laughs> nobles. I would have recommended my tutor go to horseback, slit, slit his throat mm. one time you met him, so. Yeah. He was a good tutor but before that. Um, in, I don't know, well, we'll wait till we get to Ashley to find out how things are going with our, our dating, but, um, uh, otherwise, in my free time, I would love to use my time to write down the epic stories of Vox Machina, Aww. from our meeting to saving the world and everything in between. It will be difficult, as Scanlan is not an author, but he will rely on guidance from Ayun herself, and may even ask Sprig to be a copy editor of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the working title is in the Belly of Dragons, The Legend of Scanlan Shorthalt and Vox Machina. <laughs> Working title. <laughs> it was the anus of dragons, actually. Uh, and I hope to finish the book by the time I turn 71. Uh, How old are you? Wait. Exactly? Well, I'd be 70. When we started, I was 69. You were that young? Yeah. You motherfucker. <laughs> this is full of shit. Oh my god, I can't believe you're that young. This whole time? I I'm thought slightly you were like, older I than I thought me. you were like 300 years old. <laughs> Jesus. Just god. full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and, uh, I mean, that's about it. I, I think every once in a while I would maybe try to see if I could see Vax or check in on him somehow, but I don't know really how other than to scry. Which does not succeed. Yeah. But you still send your thoughts and wishes into yeah. the ether in hopes that they find their way there. Okay. So, following off that, the story of Terry and Darrington. Oh. Which oh, I have something yeah. written for here based okay. off what you do. Good. Feel free to embellish or change oh. how you see fit. As the months pass, the Darrington family has adjusted somewhat to a more humble lifestyle. And their work of charity within the city of Deastock and the neighboring lands goes far in cleaning the family name from where it once was. While their influence was greatly diminished and they're essentially a political laughing stock, the message of their work still strikes a chord in some of the more philanthropic lords to the north, and uh, an alliance is made that protects the Darrington name and interests from the Myriad's ever wily grasp for the time being. Dodi 3.0 <laughs> now stands a shining golden color, gifted in materials by a thankful orb baron whom Tarion's brigade of adventurers saved from a terrifying doppelganger's plot. His troop continues to gain a small bit of notoriety in the southern lands of the Dwendalian Empire, some good, some humorous, uh, with his mother, Maria, ever cheering them on and making their tabards for years before passing away peacefully, proud of her boy. Her passing brings the rest of the family closer together than it's ever been, and the charitable efforts, surprisingly, of Howard now encompass the Darrington Brigade as a non-profit adventuring league. <laughs> and during a gambling run in Port Tamale to follow, Tarion stumbles upon the now slightly more haggard Lawrence. Now working as a tanner. Oh, oh. They immediately fell right back where they had left off. Oh, oh. oh. And yeah. Lawrence oh. cashed in his life as a leather worker to join the brigade alongside Tyrion. Oh, oh, that's so great. I love it. <laughs> I love it. No. Anything you wish to add to that? No, I had written a letter, but yours is much better. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh. 
You wrote a letter? I just, I didn't know how much Matt was going to put. Oh my well, god. You can still read the letter. I can read the end of the letter. Okay. Um. Oh, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's fine. Aww. You did good. You did that means good. it's good. <laughs> I didn't mean to step on anything. No, did. Okay. you did great. Much better. <laughs> Pike. Oh. oh. So Wilhelm spends his twilight years helping with small tasks around the emerging house of the Everlight as it is built on the northern edge of Western. Before age finally takes him in peace amongst friends and family. The red brick house you grew up in, and Grog grew along with you for a while, is left in your name. And there you know you have ever a homestead in Western in memory of Wilhand and the friendships you forged. What else would you like to do? What else do you wish to achieve, Pike, as the years go on? Um. That can pertain to you and whatever relationship with Scanlan you wish to embellish on. Should we roll for dating? (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure there's a there's a chart somewhere. Well, I know for one, I I think um, I don't know what Grog plans are, but I do know that if there were any any adventuring to be had, that her and Grog still got to go on some adventures together. Yeah. And uh, that he always has a place in my home. And um, I know I would love to, I, I'm sure at this point, fully rebuilt the temple and uh, Selheim and uh, I, think, I think things have gone well with Scanlan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh man, I'm getting so emotional. Like second base well, or even better than that? <laughs> well, I think if we've spent enough time together, maybe, um, I don't know, should we see what else maybe life has for us together? Oh. Absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't have to mean anything more. I know your life, what you'd like to do, and I'll give you freedom. No, no, I, I, I think the most free I've ever been is with you. I think there's no one I would rather spend the rest of my days with, besides my pal Grog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe you get a two for one deal. Sure, sure. <laughs> Be a weird, weird family dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> You guys keep it quiet up there, please. (laughs) Weird roommates. (laughs) Giant lower floor, tiny upper floor. (laughs) One inch above your head. Um, I think at some point, I ask Scanlan for his hand in marriage. (laughs) <laughs> oh. I mean, I would have to go ask Will Hand for his permission. <laughs> he passed well, away. Well, then I would go <laughs> leave some flowers at the grave. <laughs> you can ask oh, me. Oh, I will ask oh. Grog for permission. Grog? As, as the father figure <laughs> in our weird household. <laughs> I would like to ask for your permission to wed your not daughter, Pike, who is much smarter and older than you. <laughs> you're a scoundrel. <laughs> Do you have any money? I have this little black rock that you gave me. That's worth literally nothing. He's <laughs> looking. How about you so give her this, and I take out the rare black sapphire <gasps> and put it in your hand. Oh. Oh. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'll fucking watch in you, you understand? <laughs> 
I won't. I won't hurt her. I Did promise. You slip up? Nope. I know you can kill me in my sleep. I know. I usually put dead people in the bag of holding, but there's always a first. Will Treat you, her right. Will you walk me down the aisle? And by walk me down the aisle, I mean carry me down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, let's have all a group weird hug. <laughs> oh. All right. Anything else, Pike? Uh, Pretty happy with that. Do I have to yeah. convert, Pike? <laughs> What's that? Do I have to convert? I'm an Ionian. No. Okay. Good. No. <laughs> Your Ionian. Uh, <laughs> Multi faith ceremony. There you go. There you go. Uh, Sixteen rites of passage. Anything else, Pike? Uh, no. Okay. No. All right. We'll leave it at that. Percival. Lexalia. <clears throat> Since your fates are rather intertwined, I ask you both: What are your plans? What are your plots? I don't really think we should settle down. That seems like a lot. <laughs> um, I think that I would like to start a very complicated art project that's going to take many, many, many years. I'm not going to work on it all the time, day and night, but I'm going to invest some time in this. Are you going to be in your shop a lot? No, it's I'm going to build a clock tower, <sighs> like the one in Prague. And I'm going to take many years, and it's going to sit at the front of the castle, so it'll be outside, and there'll be other people working on it. And uh, it will, as a proper clock does, it will tell our story That's once a year. Everything will play out. Holy shit. Yeah. That's good. And we may, may start inviting other Tinkering artisans every year for for Whitestone to come show off things things that are not necessarily useful, but but to show off fanciful inventions and things that are beautiful. And I love that idea. But let's not stay here too often. <laughs> no, although we will have to stay here for nine months. I'm aware. Every once in a while, because. I think we should rebuild the families that we've lost. That's a, there's a lot of names. Yeah. So many names. So many names. How many? Names? So many ways to irritate your father. Five names. Oh, at the very least. Five. That's yeah. a lot of names. <laughs> yeah. Very and long names. That's at least three sets of twins. I <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, I definitely want to build a statue to Trinket, the Wonder Bear, who... The Wonder Bear. <laughs> Is he dead? Well, no, Trinket's no. around, but just so centuries of people in Whitestone will remember their mascot, Trinket. He prevents forest fires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should, as the years pass, we should start a festival. And bears will be everywhere. There will be, a, there will be bears will be involved in the festival, I like it. obviously. Especially since the clock tower is part of the festival, and bears do yeah. feature heavily. Perfect. Um. <laughs> Only you can prevent the rise of Vecna. <laughs> I um, was hoping to. Stop, drop, and get in the fucking necklace. Never, never stop um, attempting to uh, contact Vax. Uh, through the temple of the Raven Queen. And, um, you do notice that the Raven population of Whitestone seems to be perpetually seeing blooms every year, far more than it used to. I cast speak with animals on them, and I constantly try to communicate with him. Okay. I mean, they all seem to be ravens, happy to live in this space, but it seems to be more just, in essence, the vicinity more than a specific. Um, would you be all right if we um, increased the Pelor <coughs> temple here? Yes, I have a trust your judgment. I'm, uh, it is not for me, but I'm definitely in all right with anything that makes you happy. Thank you, darling. And 
be fair, you do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I help Cassandra as best I can. I think at least once a year we get out and do something irresponsible. Definitely. Maybe sometimes drag these kids. Oh yeah. Out for, <laughs> for shenanigans. Cassandra isn't it, by the way. Um, Please. She's had a few pretty difficult brushes with death, and the experience has definitely left a mark on her. Within the year following the battle with Vecna, she begins to remind you of yourself at a very dark time. And recognizing that you come to her and help pull her from uh, the dangerous edge of lashing out at the place she's worked so hard to build. And you help her realize that this guilt she's been holding as being a tool of manipulation the times that she has been is not her fault and used against the one she loves. And then that determination to no longer be a tool for others to use. She asks Vex to teach her and train her. To not just be the Lady Beacon of Whitestone, but also join in as one of its protectors. You had some good promise a long time ago. Well, that was some time. But I've seen what you can do, and uh, I deign to think of how dangerous the three of us would be if I could reach your level. <laughs> we'll make you strong, darling. We also insist that she leave Whitestone at least once a year for a period of time to do fuck all. Yeah. <laughs> There's a beautiful place called Dalen's Closet. Well, <laughs> that's not, well, yes, there's the, well. <laughs> Anything else? Are you guys happy with that? I am content to make a clock tower and make art and never make another weapon. I'm good. I have make white stone the tits written in my notes of things that I want to do. It's so. pretty tits. It's pretty tits. It's got a bear. You guys are doing okay. Yeah. It's got, I'm, I'm imagining the bear from, from Burning Man, actually. Penny oh, bear. Yeah, penny bear. Penny bear. There you go. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Grog. Uh, well, look, I'm so fascinated by Vassal Hub. I have so many interests that I feel it only proper to go back and turn myself in <laughs> <laughs> to the authorities sure. for punching one of the guards in the face and take whatever punishment they have for me. All right, as you head back to the district in which these incursions <laughs> happened, um, you are immediately recognized um, and much to their completely taken aback reaction, they bring you in until somebody of <laughs> the higher bastions goes, you fools, this is one of Vox Machina, what's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't. And they all point up at the large uh, yeah. titan, which is cur- top. That's where we were. <laughs> <laughs> which currently has been cleared out of any cursed undead uh, that they know of, and it's a process that takes a while but it becomes a monument to that battle, and it becomes as a, converted into a symbol of hope for the city. And for generations to come in Vasselheim, that, that titan will stand there lording over the city as a reminder of what transpired, what could have been lost, and what was saved that day, in memory of those that were lost. But as you point up to that, and they all realize, they slowly remove your shackles. Oh, I'm free to go. Y yes, sir, Th thank you, thank you. That's unexpected. Um, could you point me in the direction of, of a, a library? <laughs> sure, uh, come with me. As we begin to walk out, you watch as a familiar figure steps up to uh, this, this uh, portion of the, uh, the Bastion's uh, guard post. Uh, you see a familiar merchant who rushes up and goes, uh, ah, I was being summoned. They found that. Why is he yes. walking free? Yes. You. You will come with me. Gentlemen, gentlemen, uh, this is the man who punched me. This is the man who ruined my business. I. Mm. Gentlemen, whose word are you going to take? <laughs> the savior of Asselheim. 
or his new tutor. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the guards go, um, Cobalt Reserve, library stations down that way to the left. Uh, hard to miss, big blue dome. Ah, uh, you two work this out. <laughs> and they both retract back into the guard post and leave the two of you in the street. Well, unless you have something better to do, you could contribute to one of the greatest people to ever pass through the city and help me learn to read just a little bit more. Would, would that be a problem? I only have 8,000 gold to give you. Make a persuasion check with an advantage. 8,000 gold? Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even need the advantage. All right. 8,000 um, gold. Well. That would certainly go far for reparations for the damage you've caused to both my business, my person, and my psyche. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm curious to see what this change of heart is, so sure. <laughs> but you're going to pay a fine. Yes, 8,000 gold. <laughs> I Holy could, shit! I could carry it if you want. Just make a quick stop over by my shop, please. So no. And he drags it, leaves this big, heavy groove in the ground as he pulls it along. <laughs> nope, nope, it's good, I got it! <laughs> um, and leads you to the Cobalt Reserve, and, and for as long as you'll uh, have him, he'll, he'll begin to tutor you. I'd uh, like to bit. learn to read a bit more. Okay. I'd like to split some time in the Temple of Cord. Mm. Which, which it takes a while to get rebuilt, and you probably help out a bit too, uh, Earthbreaker Groon. <laughs> who survived, though many of his. Uh, oh, he did survive. He did survive. Good. Yeah. And then he's made uh, of hardier stuff. I'd also like uh, to bring Pike out every once in a while, and we give challengers a shot in the Crucible. But yeah. mostly, ah, I'm just trying yeah. to Im improve my mind and looking for the next challenge. I like it. Bring him up to eight and tall. That's right. Yeah. Seven's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Happy with that? Yeah. Okay, then. Keyleth. <sighs> okay. Naturally, he'll pike rebuild Vasselheim mm -hmm. in the most immediate of circumstances. Eventually retire to Zephra. Mm -hmm. Go be the actual lead of my people. continue to get in any type of phrase that these people invite me on, as it reminds me of the good old days and keeps with my promise to protect this realm anytime this realm needs protecting. And I find Carrick at some point. Seek out Carrick, make sure he's okay. Reconnect with him, have coffee, you know? Yeah. He's a quick jaunt from Zephyr, thankfully, Western's not that far. It's one of the closer large cities outside of Stillburn. Perfect. So we're weekend buddies. <laughs> we go to wine country. Um, <laughs> uh, and then I work on the propagated sprig from the sun tree, and continue to build it out. Hopefully, on the ley lines of the planet. And they take the feather that Pike gave me from Vax, and I embed it into the trunk of the tree, as well as <laughs> any other relics from the Raven Queen I can find. Care for ravens as much as I can. There is an uptick of ravens in the space of Zephra as well. Not many, but more than there would be, which is usually zero. And from the branch of the sun tree, create my own raven tree of the Ashari. Take a long, 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 long time before I maybe date again, maybe. But eventually, hopefully, after a long, 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 long time, sunset into the tree and kind of become a part of this realm. 
That's ways off for you. Ways Ways off. But you begin those preparations. But that's the plan. Okay. Well, you, Gameth, who many, only one saw the naive druid girl, a level of respect now is carried with that mantle that you hold. And the Council of Taldore occasionally calls upon your wisdom and guidance. Uh, the alliance between the civilized and the natured world of the land is irrevocably and Taldore bound to you at this point. Between you and the Earth Ashari that reside up in the Cliff Keep. Uh, between occasional jaunts to Imon and Whitestone, you find renewed joy in the protection of the people there. Uh, one cold Karissar, the 13th, the 10th month of the year. The cool summer dusk day closes and you emerge from the quarters to find the hair. The wind's just coming, blow through your hair. You step out of the sound of children laughing. As a dozen Ashari kids, elf, dwarf, orc, many bloods and creeds, rush past as they play. It's a familiar sound, it's a happy sound. You glance over at this village you're protecting and the people that truly look up to you as their leader, both not just from a smite source, but as a guide. And you look to them to teach you things every day as well. Looking past as the sun begins to set, you see Corrin standing by the cherry blossom at the edge of the cliff near the amphitheater where you had your ceremony. And pinks and oranges and purples, the sunset take the sky. As you approach, he still looks out. He's older, not too much older, but older. As he notices you approach, he looks over. In all my years, not a day passes where awe does not strike me at the beauty of this world. He looks over towards the sunset. Don't ever lose the memory of every face whose strength helped you keep this light from fading. Every single face. I don't think it's the faces that keep this light from fading. I think it is what it is. We're lucky to experience it. If you are lucky to think it's beautiful, you taught me that. I don't have to appreciate this. Especially not after what I've seen. But But I do. You need to. Only because of what I've seen. And you see a bit of heartbreak in him, but he nods his head and reaches out and takes you in and holds you there on the cliff side, the winds just being kept at bay. I'm proud of you. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted. It's weird. Once you reach a life goal and then realize you have the rest of your life. I guess I just find new goals. Sometimes it's hard being a prodigy. Because then you just grow up to be a regular adult. He pulls you in tighter. You'll always be my girl, my little Keith. Thanks, Dad. I love you. I love you. Anyway. 
I should get to seeing if dinner preparations are being made. Looks to be a cold night. And he tugs your hand and walks back, and leaves you there on the cliffside looking out as the sunlight slowly blinks away over the horizon. Leaving you with the purples and blues, the night sky as the stars begin to glitter out. You hear a raven call catch your ear as you glance up into the branches of the cherry blossom tree. There's just one raven. It flies down, lands on your shoulder. It's a bigger raven than any you've seen before. You've not seen this raven around? Although it's scratch. It leans a little bit. And every day that raven comes to visit. And that's where we're gonna close the campaign. <sighs> What a nice story. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, wow. Um, when this chapter closes, a whole new one, a whole new one opens very soon. We'll be back in the new year with a new story to tell. And in the meantime, we'll be playing games here, mixing it up, being silly. A few other faces are going to take up the storytelling mantle here. Mm -hmm. Me and Marisha have a, a wedding in a little over a week. <laughs> oh my God. I had to get past this emotional chapter <laughs> so I could get through the next one. <laughs> um, but here we are at the end of this near five-year journey for us and near three-year journey with all of you, and I just want to appreciate having Honestly, like some of the best friends and players I could ever hope for to come along on this journey. Trust me enough to build this with you and to give back so much more than I could have ever hoped. Thank you, man. Thank you. Best you ever. Oh. <laughs> you guys, you guys make it all easy and worthwhile. Oh fuck. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yay. And. <laughs> I love you guys. Each and every one of you out there have come with us in this journey, new, old, for just a bit of the entire length, some of you multiple times. Thank you for joining in on whatever this weird, little, magical, curious experience has and will continue to be. <laughs> just promise me you'll be good. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, be back. back. Yeah. We might look a little different, but we'll still be back. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, man. That was a really pretty send off, Matt. Thank you. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, Matt. That was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. Love you. Love you. Love. Love, love, you love, 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 love. Have a wonderful night. Rest well. And. Thursday at. <laughs> <laughs> Dark.